It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, and today's episode is brought to you by Cushy Dream CBD. Uh, the world today is nuts, man. That's an understatement. And just when it seems like things are getting better, we're hit with even more reasons to be anxious and uncomfortable, and that's why our friends at Cushy Dreams can help. Cushy Dream specializes in high-quality, smokable CBD, and CBD has been shown to help with anxiety, depression, inflammation, even pain relief, and more. We know you're sick of carts, vapes, gummies, and want to smoke your CBD. And now you can enjoy all of the benefits of cannabis without getting high. Go to CushyDreams.com. That's K-U-S-H-Y Dreams.com. At checkout, use promo code IDIOTS for 20% off your next order. Smoke your CBD with promo code IDIOTS and get 20% off today. And let's start this show. Uh, Wax is here. Yo. He been on that COVID diet. You can tell he lost ah. some weight. Yeah, I did, but I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm still money, though. I mean, you can't, don't count me out. How much you lost? I can look at your face and I can tell um, you lost yeah, weight. Yeah, man, just uh, not too much, though. I said, I've been telling everybody 40 something pounds, but I, I really just lost it in my stomach because uh, I was shitting just for like two days, really shitting crazy. And uh, my lower back was hurting a little bit, so I can't really work out like that. Um, but other than that, I've been good. My symptoms and everything was like really mild. And I ain't get like all fucked up and anything. I guess that uh that Covine shot really works. What the fuck is the Covine shot? What did everybody be getting? That vaccine Covine? What? <laughs> That's not what it's called. What is it called? It's called the COVID vaccine. Oh, Covine. I thought it was a Covine shot. So listen, you had you had diarrhea and lower back pain? Yeah, diarrhea, lower back pain, like more of soreness. It was like I did a uh, leg day and I did that um back day for like you know, too too long that day. And my back was a little sore. But other than that, I've been I've been chilling. You know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy. My breathing is good, thank God. Mm. I know that put a lot of people down. And one of my dudes I just found out he was in a in the hospital for three months and he's on a breathing machine right now for twenty four hours and he got diabetes off of it. A respirator. He ain't get diabetes from COVID. Yeah, he probably yeah, had he diare- he diabetes already. <laughs> And then that made it so bad. He did not so get bad. diabetes from COVID, bro. Yeah. Oh, he said he have diabetes. And he said after he, all this happened, now he got diabetes and anything. I was like, yeah. He sounded to me like he ain't never been to a doctor till he yeah. got COVID. And when he <laughs> and when he went to the doctor, the doctor let him know everything that he's been ducking. Yep. <laughs> That's what that sounds like so, to me. <laughs> so how long for you not to be able to go to the doctor for you to know you ducking something? I mean, a lot of people don't go to the doctor, man, especially men. And then when, yeah. and then when they go, they, they got all types of stuff going on with their body. You, Gout. Yeah, y'all, yo, listen, men go get their car service more than they go get their body service. Yo. That's Respect. facts. That's facts. My leg has been hurting for months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and listen, I've been going to the doctor for everything but my leg. I know? ain't talking about this. <laughs> my, you might tell me some bullshit. No, I'm serious, man. I don't know if I pulled <laughs> something. I had to have pulled something, yo. Yeah. Because it just be hurting in like the hamstring area. I'm like, man, what the hell? Did I tear something? But it's just like, I haven't been to the doctor for it, but I've been to the doctor for other shit. It just feels crazy. Trying to see what's wrong with me. What's wrong with me? I got to go to the doctor for. Um, I guess I'm on my tooth. My tooth. I should have been went to the dentist for a long time, bro. Word up. Come on, man. You had that root canal for months, for years, bro. <laughs> no, that's not. <laughs> You did. You had that real good. You remember when that girl told you that shit outside of BB King's that time? Listen, I'm going to tell you this right now. There's a lot of things in life I never would tell Charlotte that I know. Because people love me too. They, they love Charlotte, but people love me too. They were like, well, I'm going to tell you this. Charlotte told me to do this. Just act like those things. That's a lie. Listen, Yo, listen Charlotte tells all these people lie. to try this. <laughs> I'll tell you. You don't think they tell me? Yo? Yo, she was in the car and she was like, look, man, I love Wax Man, but his breath. I said, what you mean? <laughs> I said, what you mean? I said, what you mean? She was like, his breath is humming. I said, yo, you got to tell him. I said, what kind of sister would you be if you didn't tell him? <laughs> and I sat there and watched her lovingly walk up to Wax, whisper in his ear, oh, and Wax God. just nodded his head like, no doubt. Then he went into the corner store, got some um, some mouthwash. Panaka. <laughs> like you supposed to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> If somebody tell you your underarm stick, you gonna walk around and go, fuck that. Okay, I'm gonna stick a stick all day. Go get some fucking deodorant, nigga. Oh, man. Fix the problem. Listen, how was y'all week otherwise, though? Um, okay. I don't know. It kind of hurt me because I can't see my son. It's like I'm really locked up. 
Mm. You know what I'm saying? My son is like, he sees me, he want to run to me, come in, and I, I can't even see you. I can't do nothing. So. You should be done now, though, right? Yeah, um, they just came at 1030. So uh, it take four hours for me to know about my test, and most likely I will be uh, negative. So Okay. What about you, Schultz? I'm just fucking tired. Same. You know what's so crazy? I'm I was I've been getting great rest. I've been getting great rest. I've been catching up on shit. I yeah. watched Shang Chi. I ain't seen Shang Chi. I I've been reading Will Smith's book. Let yeah, what do you, you think something. about that? What do you think about Will Smith? Uh... I'm 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 only on chapter 13. Mm -hmm. It's a long book. Uh I can't remember exactly how many chapters are in it, but I'm like halfway through. Yeah. It is absolutely one of the most fascinating, riveting memoirs I've ever read in my life. Do you believe that thing about he, he would throw up every time he orgasmed because he was fucking yes, so many be, girls? Yes. What? Yes, because when you read it in context, instead of the goddamn internet's version... <laughs> the the, the internet, internet versions sound like cap, bro. The internet version is some bullshit, because it is. All I right, read so the headline, go. I'm like, none of these motherfuckers have read the book. All right, go. So tell me what happened. Please, yeah, please tell me it's different than every time he nutted, he threw up because he was no. fucking so many girls. <laughs> no. That's what no, he said. That's not, no. That's the internet. What do you say? The internet is saying, yo, every time he nutted, he had to throw up because he was fucking so many girls that he started to have an adverse reaction to it. Boo-hoo. Will Smith, Will Smith grew up watching his mom be a victim of domestic <laughs> violence. Okay. Right? Yeah. So being that he grew up watching his mom being a domestic violence, the, the whole book is literally about Will Smith being a coward and him coming to the realization early in his life that he was a coward. So he, he, he created, you know, these characters, like the character of Will Smith and the rapper and wanting to be the jokester and everything else to protect people from knowing he was a coward, mm -hmm. right? And so um, he watched his mom get beat up, you know, throughout, throughout, throughout her life. Or, or really was really one bad time in general. That, that his pops put hands on her. And so he always just wanted a family. Like he always wanted to have a healthy family structure. So literally the women that he would involve himself with, he was like, I'm going to marry this woman. So his first, you know, girlfriend that he was super in love with, mm -hmm. you know, when he found out she cheated, he just started wilding because he was a rapper. You know what I mean? So he just started mm. fucking Most everything. Stink. And so he said... When he would fuck these women, he didn't have no emotional attachment to them, didn't care about them. So he was doing the one thing that he always said he didn't want to do to a woman, which was hurt them. And he said that would make him sick. Why would he hurt so them? He, they want to I mean, fuck a famous saw, rapper. They got yeah, to fuck a famous... He helped them they out. Used, they used him. Uh -huh. Sure. But, you know, in his mind, he felt like, you know, he wanted something deeper. You know, he wanted, he wanted love. He wanted an emotional connection. Some guys are like that, though. Some guys, I know, just, I don't, I don't like, get I the to attachment like to, I don't get the attachment to how it's abusive. These women saw a famous dude. They're like, I would really like to have sex with a famous dude. He saw a hot chick. He's like, I'd like to have sex with a hot chick. That's a barter. And I think that's a very even exchange. If not, maybe the women getting over on him. Oh, Ain't that yeah, many yeah, Will Smiths. Well, There's a lot of hot chicks, bro. Go on Instagram. Listen, I don't disagree with you, but I mean, I, I get what he's saying, too, because it just didn't mean anything to him. It was meaningless. We all and have he, meaningless sex. Why does he think he's yeah, that different? I don't remember nobody. What's going on with, with this guy? This guy's falling apart right in front of our eyes. <laughs> and then we're acting <laughs> like think, this is some sort of growth. This is not I growth. Think I think it's very, I think it's a very aware state to be in. Imagine you, you know nutted I mean? and then projectile vomited right afterwards. Nobody would say there's something fucking he didn't wrong with do, you. He, he didn't do that. See, that's the internet. I mean, if y'all want to do that for the jokes, go ahead, get them off. Son, the but internet that's not is <laughs> fire, bro. Yo, the internet is so much more fire. Yo, there was two headlines that I saw from the book. I'm like, yo, ain't none of these motherfuckers read the book. There was another headline where it was like, Will Smith said he borrowed $10,000 from drug dealer to pay off taxes. That's not even, <laughs> yo, that's not even remotely what happened. This motherfucker owed like a million dollars in taxes. What was $10,000 going to do? That ain't going to do that. That's, <laughs> a, that's, a, that's an official like, bill. Like, he literally borrowed $10,000. Yo, the, start, the book is actually really good. I don't want to give too much away, but just know Will is from Philly. Mm -hmm. He was running with some people he ain't had no business running with. Mm -hmm. FBI was on all they had. You know, it, it, Wax no. The same way FBI has come to me and said, Yo, they gonna come. motherfucker, you need to watch these people you around. Because I, 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 that's it. I want you to know who these people are. That's that's happened to me. Really? So I, yes. Stay out the way. Stay out the way. 100%. What happened? What, what happened? I that's mean, interesting. They, they just, way more interesting than throwing up because of what, pussy. What, 
<laughs> no, the, same, the same thing happened to Will. When you come from a certain environment, you know what I mean? And, and, and you're used to people from a certain environment. You're a rapper. So back then, the only people that could hang with the rappers financially was the drug dealers. Period. You know what I mean? So all the drug dealers used to hang around Will because Will was the man. And yeah. Will, Ho Will House was the spot. All the women would be at Will House. They'd pull up in their fly cars. They'd be gambling, whatever, whatever. So when the police was watching them, they was like, yo, all of these guys are leaving your house. And so they let Will know, like, you better get the fuck away. Uh, if you're involved in some bullshit, you ain't got nothing, to, you don't got no business being involved in, you're going to get caught up too. Don't get caught up in and no money laundering, no bullshit. That's right. And so Will, yeah, at, at, the at the time, Will, I went broke. Like, Bro, this is after he won the Grammy and everything. So it's in between his album where he won the Grammys and sold 3 million copies and Fresh Prince, him getting the TV show. So he was dead fucking broke. So when the feds told him that, he was like, man, I got to get the fuck out of here. I'm going to, I'm going to go, go to LA. So he went to his drug dealing homie and told his drug dealing homie what was happening. And he was like, yo, I need some money, man. I ain't got no cash. And the dude gave him $10,000 on the spot. That shit ain't got nothing to do with no goddamn tax. So I'm like, Yo, the internet is a motherfucker, yo. Yeah. And it's just wild when you, it's like anything else, when you actually know and you're reading some shit on the internet and you're like, how do people get off on writing these headlines and creating these whole stories? It, it, it get me to click that better, though, before we do Yeah, they're just, it's just yeah, punching it up a little bit. Yeah, that's all. You know what's what I mean? the point? It's a lie. I mean, they still got people to listen to look at the book, though. What, what do you? Now what have you said to me all the time for the last decade? Nobody cares about the Nobody truth. Nobody cares about the, the truth when the lies more entertaining. God <laughs> yeah. damn it! Ain't that some motherfucking shame? It's really a shame, yo. Because it's actually it's his book is really incredible. And it ain't and even, it, Sorry, go. His book is really incredible, and I'm only I'm I'm literally af, at what after he did six degrees of separation. <laughs> like, and so I'm only halfway to. I'm not. I haven't even gotten a mega movie star. Will Smith yet? Right, right, right. This is just street, wow. street, pan, uh, street. Is he with Jada yet? Yeah, he's with Jada. He got Jada with Jada. Dope. He's with Jada. He broke that whole shit down too. Like it's 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 a really good book, man. Like I don't know who the hell is gonna play Will Smith <laughs> in the story about Will Smith's life, but they're absolutely gonna turn this into a, a blockbuster film one day. Mm. And I, I know I, I know they hurting my feelings with they doing to the Jada, man. Like Jesus Christ, what you doing mean? to Jada? Yeah, because they got memes out there with Jada been in the streets more and all this dumb ass shit. I, I don't like that. Still somebody mama, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not really cool. I doubt Jada cares. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the kids, the kids might care, though. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the kids at the end of the day. Nobody, I don't care how, what stature I am. The kids I are fine. My mom. I don't want my mom to be known for nothing like that. They know. I don't. I don't know what she's known for, though. <laughs> you don't think they know? I mean, what they say in the streets is, is what she, they Man, say she's known for. It's the internet. I know that much. He got the number one book in the country, too. Hey, listen, I love is, Will Smith. I grew up on Will Smith. Man. He was like a, he was a huge influence on me. Like, comedically, he was a hero. Like, I mean, Independence Day, I'm like, this guy saved the world. Like, he can do no wrong. Mm -hmm. I just don't understand this. And I guess this is what we do now. I guess we, like, you know, feel the need to like transform in front of everybody. And um, he's really wanting to like share, I guess, this personal journey or the whole family's fucking doing it. I don't know. It's just weird. I see a lot well, of God, weird oh, shit on. We, say, we, we say We say we feel the need. Bro, we've been watching him since he's a teenager and he's 53 <laughs> now. Yeah, but we don't, we, don't, we don't feel the need to transform in front of people he yeah. did. But, but <laughs> he, he, there's a lot of oversharing, bro. Like we were watching him play characters, right? We didn't need to see like Will Smith turn into a butterfly. Like we just but wanted Andrew, to see Wild Wild West or whatever like Schultz, that. But you know why? You know why he's oversharing? Because that's what motherfuckers do now. Because it's monetizable. You can make a lot of money doing it. The movies ain't paying no. the same. So you going to share a reality show and make some money? No. He's oversharing because he wrote a fucking book. I wonder why the he did that. I wonder, I wonder what the purpose of writing the book was. Because that's what you do when you're 53 years old and you've oh, lived yeah. the life that he's lived. Yeah, Def that definitely, definitely that. not a... Y'all sound, sound, sound like some haters. Y'all sound like some haters. Y'all sound like some haters who haven't achieved enough in life. Is he selling the book by any <laughs> Listen, chance? you know what that is? It's just like sitting down and talking instead of standing up and talking, writing a book. Bro, exactly. So let me, so let me ask you a question. You two, you're not on TikTok. If you're on TikTok, you know what I'm talking about. If you go on TikTok, TikTok is now just a fucking like trauma dump. It, like It's nonstop. And maybe this is... That's not your TikTok? What's your TikTok? <laughs> what you what, what you listen to? Oh, yeah, that's uh, it. That's your algorithm. My shit used to be funny, and now TikTok thinks I like this drama. I'm like, get that shit out of here, bro. Like, come on, let's have some fun again. 
This shit is going to be so funny in 10 years when Andrew Schultz is doing everything he's saying. He's he knocking everybody for it. Hey, guarantee. Hey, not only guarantee you're writing a book. Whatever guarantee. I hate on, I'm going to do. <laughs> Just know that about me. Whatever oh, I though. hate on, I'm going to do. This has listen, been my life trajectory. Just understand this. Yeah, listen, Gar not only guaranteed to write a book, guaranteed to share all his emotions. He's going to spill his yo, yo, guts. I'm going to keep, but here's the one thing that you cannot say about me. I keep it a buck. I am 100% honest about my hypocrisy. So when I flip on it, I go, yo, that was me. Yeah, I'm wrong. I'm trying to make some money off this book. Let's go. I think that what guys like Will Smith are doing is great. And the reason it's great is because everybody's been pretending for so motherfucking long. And all of it, yo, you, you, who's really real? Me. Even, Shit, even. I don't need an auto fake. Wax, you don't wax even might use be, your real name. <laughs> that's very, it's exactly. No, but, but I'm so no, real right. to myself. No, there's a reason no, why I don't wax, do it. You're lying. Andrew's absolutely right. But can I tell you why? Did me not being. The other person saved me in a lot of ways. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean? You're not being a whole lot of ways. What do you mean? Me me actually not telling people my name. Me growing up in Jersey, I grew up with a lot of Polish people and um, Africans and Haitians. They always are scammers. You see what I'm saying? So they was scamming everybody's name. If I know your name, your social security number, Oh, I got your whole fucking life. So you created a character protect, to protect yourself. Just, just protect myself. That's that's all, I don't know why that's I'm so a hard. Few. Why would they get your understand? social security number? What? Oh. <laughs> what? Why would they just get that? Like you could just use your regular name. You want to? You just use your name. You don't have to use your social security number. Why would they get that from you? Cause you know what they do? They got a little thing. They could go right th next to your wallet like this. Boop. They put it right. Wax. You grew up in the eighties. There's no fucking thing to the wallet. We didn't I even mean, have cell phones. Back in the day, but back in the day, that's what I'm saying. Well, what's going on here, guys? What's stuff, happening here? And they got your whole identity, bro. Yeah, right. back and in the day. There's a lot of people I know in Jersey do not tell people their real name. I was, I was with my dude, Cuddy, the other day, and he came to the show. Mm -hmm. And he, and they said his real name. And me and him bust out laughing. He was like, yo, bro, chill, chill, chill. And I felt the same way. He like, yo, Wax, what's your name? And they got, you trying to fight me? You know what I'm saying? We just don't do that type of shit. The fuck you didn't know my name for? Listen, everybody creates characters to protect themselves. I don't know why mm -hmm. we sit around and lie about it. And motherfuckers that are watching us right now on YouTube uh, and they tweeting and SoundCloud, Reddit, y'all definitely have created characters <laughs> to protect yourself. We don't even know your face. We don't know what your face look like. We don't know your real name. All we know is your at. Stop Remember Hungry it. Howie? <laughs> Hungry Howie. <laughs> I we we knew who, we knew who Hungry Howie was. We know though. Hungry Howie, but Hungry <laughs> Howie didn't want nobody to know who he was because Hungry Howie was popping that shit about people. And Hungry Howie, that's right. Hungry <laughs> Howie didn't want to put a name on that motherfucker. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If you mean it, put a name on it. God damn it! I Even just I don't know. I don't think there's anything really worth wrong with like having different characters or different aspects of your personality. Like we're different with our parents than we are with our friends than we are at work, and I think sure. that that's just that is what a social human being does to survive. Will Smith is in an incredibly privileged situation where he has an abundance of wealth so he can start to discover like who he really is and then he can act in that way at all times because he doesn't have to worry about getting fired from his job. He doesn't have to worry about uh, embarrassing himself in public because even if he does, he's still so rich he could do it. But the average person, the average Joe, he got to be one guy at work, one guy at home, one guy at church, one guy at the synagogue, one guy at the mosque, and that's just what it is to be human. I don't, I don't know if that's switching. Nah. I don't know if that's switching characters though. I think that's just like your, your, your different things require different things. Like I don't yeah. think that you could still be the same person. But <laughs> how is that not nice what I just case. said? <laughs> because 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 if I'm sitting here at the Brilliant Idiots podcast, yeah. Uh, if I'm sitting in a church, I'm not going to act the same way. <laughs> that's that's my point. I, but my point is like, but I don't, but I don't know if that's being, character though. Eh, okay, yeah, we, we could change the word. We could change the word character. But like, I think we, it's behavior maybe. Yeah, we behave differently mm -hmm. in different settings, right? We use different vocabulary in different settings. We even share different sure. opinions in different settings, and we and I think that those are all aspects of ourselves. Like when I'm around my parents, that's me. It's just a different version of me than when I'm around my girl or when I'm around mm -hmm. the homies. So it's sure. like. You're just allowed to be diverse in who you are as a human being. It's very hard to front in front of your parents, though, because they my know mama you. Never heard, my mama never heard me curse. She don't know I smoke weed. And she ain't never call you wax. <laughs> uh, um, ain't never call you wax in your if somebody life. somebody came by and asked for wax, you know what they talking about. Yeah, anything, but, but she yeah. ain't never called you that. She did, that. That woman used to wipe your ass. That woman, car that that woman carried you for nine months. That, you, can, you couldn't front in front of your parents if you though. tried. <laughs> yo, I, I don't. Yo, yo, when listen. I'm in church... 
Yo, you ever you ever came home high? And like you thought you was good. You got the Visine, you smell oh, good wow. and everything. And your mom <laughs> just looking at you. Your mom and dad just looking at you like, what's wrong with you, boy? <laughs> Nothing. Like they just know something wrong. I won't go around them. We, I try to avoid my parents for years, all the time. Even when you're not high, just the, your emotions. If you're just feeling bad, sad, angry, your parents see right through you, man. Are you, are you worried about your kid doing uh, drugs? Your oldest, Charla? Am I worried? Yeah, like trying weed or trying these types of things. Uh, it's not a worry, but I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's always something in the back of your mind. It's something that you, yeah. you know, always tell your kids stay away from. You know what I mean? Especially nowadays. I saw some shit yesterday. They got fentanyl not, in the goddamn yeah, weed. No, that was terrifying. Bro, you ain't bro. getting the who's wax. You're really bugging. That was terrifying. I guarantee you ain't got it. Yo, is there's part of me that's like, I, you know me, I could be on my conspiracy shit a little bit, but like. There's part of me, I'm like, who benefits the most from this fentanyl in all the street drugs? Something ain't right. This shit came out of nowhere, well, bro. Well, who benefits the most? I think it's Big Pharma, right? Because if I'm not fucked with any of the street drugs, I'm going to get all my weed from the, the professional weed dispensaries. I'm not going to fuck with Molly or any of that other stuff. I'm going to find the best, you know, synthetic version of it. And then I'm just going to do that. So it's like, if the only drugs I could actually trust are the ones prescribed, then I'll just go with those drugs. If I get anything on the street, it might have fucking fentanyl in it. Yeah. I wonder if they're the ones that are lacing the street shit so that we stop using the street shit. You, I don't know. Times has changed. I, I, see it, I see it going that way. You know what I'm saying? Shit, look at me. Look how many dispensaries I'm in already. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely, definitely going that way. I, I definitely sell a whole lot less drugs in the street now than I did back in the day. <laughs> you so you like, think that, so, so basically <laughs> you're saying that you think that none. You mean you sell no <laughs> drugs in the streets? You sell no drugs oh, in the street. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what you meant by a lot less. You mean you sell a whole lot none? Less. Zero. Yeah, zero. Good. <laughs> Which is a lot. It is a lot less. Technically, that is right. We a just, whole lot less. Yeah, that is a whole that lot, is a lot, lot less. less. We just want to clarify so that you're not snitching on yourself. Nah, 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 nah. I mean, I'd be a fool to do something. I ain't got no time to even be on the street. The fuck, I would be on the street to do it? What? Picture be hand in hand and some shit. That's stupid. You'd be so dumb. Go to the space. That'd be the dumbest shit in the world. That'd be the stupidest shit in the world. Then I got to put out a press release distancing myself. Stupid as hell. Who's waxing dispensaries in LA? Your nearest one. By the way, LA. that's a great plot, though. That is a great plot. Like, you know, t contaminate all the street drugs. You know what I mean? So now everybody got to come back and make sure they hit the dispensaries for the weed. Uh -huh. I don't know what they would do for Coke, but I guess for pharma, yeah, you're right. Don't. But it's cocaine. It's really into cocaine more than anything, right? Uh, that's where it's like uh, killing people. But, but still, like people are gonna find a way to recreate the effects of cocaine. You know what I mean? You're gonna pop Adderall or some shit. That's a little bit different. Yeah, but that's all. That's all Adderall is. Yeah. Fucking cocaine crushed up. They're gonna find some. They're gonna find the ways. I'm just saying. I wouldn't put anything by Big Pharma. Like these are the same people that got Americans addicted to like what was that drug called? Oxycontin. Uh, Oxycontin. There's another Percocet. one that crack. Percocet. Percocet, said like all these shit like Xanax. Yeah, like so they're doing whatever that sells the most drugs. Like they're in the business of selling drugs, right? They're no different than anybody else. Only their product is highly addictive and makes you feel fucking amazing. So if you think the McDonald's is out there slanging hamburgers, then shit. Why wouldn't Big Pharma be out there selling legal weed now? Man. Damn. Why not? It's is like, look how they got us to get on the cocaine and the pills and shit like that. Doing accidents. If something happened to you, they ain't really got to give you those type of pills. True, One man. of my boys tell me that right now. He's my age. He's taking blood pressure medicine. And as soon as he say he's trying to get off, his blood pressure start going crazy. Now he's stuck on that shit for the rest of his life. Yeah. That shit ain't cool. Yeah. I mean, that's the I best version of the drug, isn't it? The one that you got to take? Be the one you can what? The one you have to take? I mean, what an amazing oh, yeah. idea. Shit. You don't even got to sell the product no more. Like, usually you got to keep on doing commercials for cars, right? Like, if you sell fucking cars, if you're Ford, every year you got to have a new commercial where there's fire and the car is going up a spiral in the middle of the desert to trick motherfuckers to get a new truck. But with drugs, you just need them to get addicted. You don't need to send a bull billboard anywhere. You don't need a commercial, you need nothing. Your body is going to do all the marketing that you need. And I mean, listen, let's not act like, you know, rappers don't do a great job at the marketing of it, too. <laughs> Molly Percocet. <laughs> Molly Percocet, bro. Yeah. That shit was slapping. Molly Man, Percocet. If I'm Molly Big Pharma, Percocet. I'm paying these rappers. I'm going to say, yo, talk about Xanax in this song. 50,000. Done. 
Shit, they didn't have to. Shit, Future did that for him. Yeah, that's true. And he gave a lot of promotion. Damn. I'm surprised Future, Future should have did a commercial called The Future of Big Pharma. <laughs> and show where they and show and show where the world is going. That shit is that shit is nuts. But it's only a matter of time. I mean, pharma would have to embrace weed, right? Because weed is is considered medicine now. Yes, like people are getting diagnosed prescriptions of marijuana. So that is that would be considered big pharma now, right? Crazy how times change, man. Crazy how times change, man. It ain't no fucking point to have a, a hundred milligrams of a goddamn. Nah, Weed, man. You gotta, you gotta know what you have. Like, wax, wax right <laughs> hold now. Hold on a second. Mine's hold at, on a second. Wax, like hold on a second. Hold on a second. Sure. Sure. <laughs> What the fuck did what you just say? 100, <laughs> 100 milligrams of weed, man. Out of control, you never seen that? No, no. You know what 100 milligrams is, That's what bro? I'm trying to tell you. What do you mean? You're saying it mean, it's, too, uh, it's too dense. In other words, it's <laughs> too much weed inside like an edible? Yes. Oh, because 100 milligrams of weed is just 100 milligrams of weed. It, it, you didn't say edible. So we were. I didn't know what the fuck you were talking about. I was like, well, oh. that's a lot, bro. Yeah, man. These edibles be having like 100 milligrams. And I'm like, what the fuck are doing that? And, Probably the whole pack, Charlemagne. No, man. 50 per serving, 100 per serving. That's human beings, bro. That's what we do, man. It's like, remember when protein bars... <laughs> it's, like, it's so true. Remember when protein bars had five grams of protein in them shits when we were young? And now you yeah, go to the yeah. stores, 40 grams of protein. 40 your grams whole of protein. day's worth of protein. Yeah. The bar hasn't changed sizes yet. Like, what is wrong <laughs> with us, yo? When is enough enough? Like, the titties the keep getting keep bigger. The asses though, keep getting bigger. The lips keep getting bigger. It's like, how do I put as much as I can in the smallest thing? Something's it's going America, on with human man. Beings, bro. No, it's America. That should go back to the, the even what's, the, what's those meals? Five dollars from Burger King get you nuggets, <laughs> a burger, a milkshake, an apple pie, yeah, a how? pizza, like, <laughs> come on, <laughs> and, and, and a toy, come and on, a toy. Yo. How the fuck? How how much was those toys? Man, ain't that much food in the world, bro? That I can just give this shit away for five fucking dollars. I'm t I got some I got some shit upstairs right now that my man uh, salute to my man Jed. He bought me from Maryland. This shit is fifty milligrams. And I be having to cut it in force. Yes. <laughs> and, hope so. and take a piece. Man, I didn't know no better the first time he gave me that shit during the pandemic. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Lord, Lord have what? Mercy. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> Lord I didn't run his towel. I was like, do you know what 50 milligrams is? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, man, that shit feel like I can only, I can only imagine that is what being on crack feel like, yo. A heroin, a fucking coke, like. I was up, like, body tingling yeah. all night long. Can't yeah. stop doing something. I got to do something. Fuck that. Yeah. 50 milligrams? You ain't supposed to be selling that shit you know in the store, You man. know what's interesting? The weed is going to be worse for you now that it's corporate. It's GMO. Exactly. It's like, because think, think about everything. It's like when, it, when McDonald's was just a mom and pop shop, it was probably good for you. Or not good for you, but it yeah. was just hamburgers, bro. It was hamburgers, cheese, that's it. Now the McDonald's is crazy. Right, you don't even know if it's real food, right? Anytime. Yeah, that's why. That's why I like the whole the uh, whole food spots. You know what I'm saying? The soul food spots in the hood. Them the good shits. Yeah, Honestly, even if they fattening, they're fattening. They fat, yeah. But they're probably better for you ingredients wise than fast real food. food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's just like anytime corporate interest gets involved in anything, it's gonna water it down. I mean, that's not just food; it's literally anything. Water Bro, down. First, first thing they do is chicken. Yeah. You always know when they go corporate because their chicken chains just like this. Mm. Anytime you got to create something in mass, it's going to be fucked up. Yeah. If you got to create a lot of something fast, it's going to be fucked up. That's why I love going to the islands because when you go to the island, if they don't got it, you ain't getting right. it. Oh, bro. You ain't getting it. As simple oh, as that. I've never, <laughs> they don't, I've never waited uh, longer yeah. for anything in my life than a basket of chicken tenders when I was with Lil Duval in the Bahamas, bro. I, I we, ordered, <laughs> we ordered one basket of chicken tenders, bro. And we were there for minimum 50 minutes waiting on they some had to, chicken tenders. They, they had to catch the chicken. Up. They, catch they had to catch that day. motherfucker, kill it. Bro. You know what I mean? Pluck, pluck the feathers. Fry it up and get the tender parts out. <laughs> it was unbelievable, bro. I couldn't believe it. I can't. It was delicious, though. So it, was, it was amazing, bro. It was amazing. Yeah. It was amazing. But 50 minutes for some chicken tenders, bro? But that's why they have, that's why they have, uh, you know, like you go to certain islands. Like, I love Lost. going to Anguilla because when you go to Anguilla, you know, if we go to certain spots like Sandy Island, 
you know, they getting the lobster and shit right out the ocean. Yeah, right there. But oh. in the meantime, enjoy some music and drink some rum punch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They get you drunk. Oh. That's right. <laughs> Forget you hungry. Let's get to some shits, man. What did we uh what do we think about the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict? I mean, like, I I don't know. There's just so many things about this thing. Like, if you actually look it up, like again, what the internet tells you and what actually happens are very different. If you actually look it up, it was the right decision. That doesn't make this kid a fucking hero, but it was the right decision based on what happens. And I think that's the tricky thing with the story. He could not be a hero and the court system got it right. Those those things can't happen. I said it. Um, I don't know if I said it here or if I said it on Breakfast Club. I definitely know I said it on TV. Um, when I saw the weapons charge get dropped, I was like, oh, he's not getting charged with nothing. Do you know why it got when dropped? I, thought, I don't know. Because right. apparently he didn't cross state lines. There's a lot of things I didn't even know. Like, for one, his dad is from Kenosha. So, like... It's not crazy that he would be in Kenosha and he didn't take the rifle from where he lives to Kenosha. I guess his friend had the rifle in Kenosha. So he didn't like cross state lines with a rifle or whatever people were telling us. I guess his friend gave him the rifle and I guess it's okay if someone above 18 has the rifle to let someone who's under 18 hold it. Like, there's all these fucking rules well, in place. Well, no, uh, no, yeah. Who care about the guy? Yeah, yeah, he still, people. But now nah, he's still in. Pos- now nah, that was self defense. He's still in possession of a, a legal firearm, though. But I, I mean, yeah. even if, even if, like somebody, even if somebody who has a legal weapon gives me a gun and I use it, it's still me using an illegal firearm. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. So, so what was happening? Whoa, How whoa, was self defense? He was whooping his ass. Is it you using an illegal firearm? Or is it just you use? It's illegal because you have it. It's illegal because I have it. Got you. You make it illegal. Not, got you. Got yeah. You, got you. Yes. It's illegal because I have it. It's illegal because I have it. Yeah, and and by the way, they'll, they'll lock you up just for having it. You don't even got to use it. Yeah, there they'll was, lock you up just for having a, a, a gun that's, you know, not registered to you or whatever, yeah, whatever. Permitted for it. So when I saw that, when I saw the weapons charge get dropped, I said he's not getting charged with nothing because, you know, every, every other aspect of that situation, it was self-defense. Yes, you know what I mean? They he, was he, coming he, for he was, him. No, no, not only were they coming for him, you know, they was coming for him. He pointed the gun. He told him back away. They didn't back away. They jumped on him. One guy beat him with a skateboard. The other guy actually had a pistol. The other guy sh- shot once in the air and pointed the pistol at him and admitted yeah, in the, the guy, court, like, yeah, like this is yeah, a no-brainer. The, the yeah, yeah. People didn't know this. I never knew this. Yeah, the guy, he, one, of the guy, the guy, one of the guys he shot that survived, the one guy he shot that survived actually had a gun. Put, put it this way. If Kyle Rittenhouse was black, and there were three white people that were approaching him in this same way, and he shot them in self-defense, we would be rooting for that black kid. You just have yeah, a white kid, kid who's off. going to a Black Lives Matter parade, to not parade, march, <laughs> to go to the Black Lives Matter march, and he's going there with a gun, so it looks like he's going there to start trouble, right? So we're like, all right, fuck this guy, no matter what happens. But switch his race out with anything else, we are 100% supportive of that person. And once the information came out, you would you would do the same thing he did in that situation. You got an AR-15 and motherfuckers are coming at you. What do you think <laughs> they're going to do? Have a, Listen, uh, Kyle, you going to play? And, go. And, and, and one of them had a gun. Listen, Kyle Rittenhouse said something that I absolutely agree with. Um, self-defense is not a crime. Yeah. And as a person who is a proud, you know, 2A all day, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I agree with him. And, you know, I wish that, and I say it all the time, you know, owning a legal firearm in this country, a legal firearm, especially when you're a black person, is a form of self-care. Mm. And, you know, hey, it's Man, better. It, hey, it's better. Hey, it's better to get caught with it than get caught without it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's a it's a lot of different situations. I wish somebody had a firearm to protect themselves. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I wish Trayvon Martin had a firearm to protect himself. I wish Ahmaud Arbery had a firearm to protect himself. Yep. I wish I wish more people at the Capitol <laughs> let that thing go when when they, when they were raiding the Capitol. Mm-hmm. I wish Young Dolph did. I wish Nipsey uh-huh. did. Like so, uh-huh. you know, I'm never gonna be that guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, 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 and to your point, Andrew, yeah, there's a lot of it. There's a lot of nuance that goes into it because it's like. Yo, you took this firearm to this Black Lives Matter rally. Why? Why are you putting? Why are you putting? Your, why, why are you putting your nose in this business? Well, you, you know clearly why. Worried. You know why? Why? I don't. I don't. I mean, I really well, don't. The, and who knows if this is actually true? But like, 
the the place that he was protecting the used car lot and this could be bullshit but allegedly they're saying that that they asked him to come help and protect it who fucking knows but like there was a lot of shit going down and if you were one of these people black white asian whatever it is and you had a storefront and you knew that the march was coming by your store you would like motherfuckers with guns to stand in front of your store too uh -huh. yeah, you'd it, be grateful his, if, if it was his storefront or his family storefront completely understand other than that, who the fuck is paying you to protect these buildings? <laughs> Nobody, but that's that's charity work. Yeah, man. We, uh, like, we, 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 we can win it for we a gotta, day. We got to stop know? acting like we got to stop acting like motherfucking storefronts. We're getting we're getting vandalized. Like just in San Francisco the other day, they broke into the Louis Vuitton store. A few people be wilding right now, and it's just like. Hey, I'm with you, but I'm not standing in front of no Louis store with no gun telling people get away from this Louis store. hundred percent. You aren't. But if somebody wanted to, you think Louis would be upset? They'd be like, by all means. Please. Nah, 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 I get it. I get it. Listen, I'm not, uh, what, what, whatever Kyle was into, that's what he's into. I mean, it kind of, it's kind of weird, right? Because it goes back into, uh, you know, even what we talk about when we say people, you know, want to disclose all this information about themselves, right? When, as they get older. It's like, I don't knock, whatever is going through people's minds is going through people's minds. I have no idea why Kyle Rittenhouse at 17 years old felt like, he wanted to go protect Bill. Because he ain't, he's a nerd. He ain't got no pussy. He's trying to attach himself to some <laughs> he shit. No he's a little he ain't fucking no loser, dog. Well, what was, That's well, what, what was wrong is. with Call of Duty that night, man? Done. Call of Duty wasn't enough. It wasn't enough, bro. But like, <laughs> I don't know. Once I found out one of the motherfuckers he shot and killed was like a pedophile like multiple times having sex with kids 9 to 11 years yeah. old. See, I don't even know. I heard that too, but I, I don't know if that's true. No, that's is that true? true? That's fact. Yikes. That's Where you got fact. that from? Okay. You can look that shit up. And then Mark Ruffalo on Twitter calling that motherfucker nicknames. You guys were heroes. Jojo, he called him something like that. But you can look that shit up. That motherfucker was booked. Matter of fact, I get you his, his name and everything. I knew nothing about this. Once I yeah, found I that yeah. shit out, bro. Hey, man. I don't like that, though. That's justice. Yeah, I don't like that, though. Because that, that don't have nothing to do with this situation. Yeah, it does. I Nah, if you're a pedophile, do black anything bad happens to you is is got something to do with the situation. It, yeah, the reason I don't like that though is because they do that to black people all the time. You know what I'm saying? So. Like, like if it's like a uh, anybody, anybody gets killed by the police, they'll like they'll like we don't got to go that deep. Look at the Ahmaud Arbery situation mm -hmm. this week. The freaking attorneys in the courtroom talking about he had dirty long toenails. Like they just they, they they just find anything like when he was eighty seven he, he stole yeah, out of the store exactly like eh, that shit he is shoplifting he, uh, he yeah I don't like he that. had sixteen tickets uh, he didn't yeah, pay yeah I don't Get like the that fuck up. Listen, I don't like that the reason why this is a story is because it's easy for the uh, fucking what are they called the uh, the news the fucking news propaganda that we digest all the time to sell clicks. And it's easy for Hollywood celebrities to look woke and supportive by tweeting about it. This is why this is a news story. In the same way that this is not a news story when that dude ran over a bunch of people in Waukesha. Nobody fucking talking about that. The dude literally just targeted people, hit them with a fucking car, and wow. people were already like finding ways to, to make it seem like it wasn't his fault. They're like, oh, he was about to be attacked by a knife, and that's why he... Oh, no, it was definitely his fault. I saw that yesterday yeah, on the news. Yeah, but it's not even a news story. None of these fucking Hollywood celebrities are tweeting about it. Every Hollywood celebrity and their mother had a fucking tweet about Kyle Rittenhouse, right? Because it was the right thing to say, and it gives you tons of woke points and clout points, and all these motherfucking news stories and can run the article, white kid goes to Black Lives Matter uh, uh, march with the AR-15. It's perfect for clicks. It gets everybody stirred up. And then you got a situation where a dude killed six people, more people dead, more total people dead, all his fault, terroristic uh, attack. Like if that guy was Muslim, we'd call it a terror attack. You know that. Well, they said they said he. I don't. I don't know what this means, but they said he was fleeing. They have their language. They said he was fleeing a knife. They all, they already found out that that was bullshit. But this is what they do. They run with all this stuff to dismiss. What do you mean the they found out it was BS? They already found that was bullshit. The knife narrative has been dismissed. There's no fleeing a knife fight. The guy was out there just trying to run people over and kill them, dude. Really? Yes, but that's the thing. It just doesn't fit the woke narrative. So then you don't have all these fucking Hollywood celebrities tweeting about it because they can't get any points. Remember, these Hollywood celebs don't care about fucking justice. They're sitting in their gated why, communities. Though? Why though? Why was he running over people? Like, was he mentally disturbed? Yeah, he was like, mentally what was the disturbed. reason? He was. He was. He was in and out of jail. He just got out on a thousand dollar bond, uh, and the motherfucker was disturbed. You know, like, and he just wanted to kill some motherfucking innocent people. I mean, it's mental illness. You want to go really back to it? Yes, it's mental illness. Why he's there, of Jeez. course. But I'm just saying, it's just. 
I, I'm just tired of these Hollywood motherfuckers and I'm tired of like news agencies acting like they want fucking justice when all you want is ad revenue and all you want is fucking clout. So shut your mouth because when some real shit happens, high, you're silent. Yeah, I think honestly, man, it's just it's hard not to become a part of the algorithm. And we live in this era where like people don't really read anything past the headline. Like that's that's it's been proven that people don't read things past the headline. <laughs> that's me. You know what I'm saying? That's me with Will Smith. Me. But, that, but that's that's what we do. So it's just I don't like even read. I, I listen to y'all. <laughs> like when you when like even when you read the <laughs> when you read on the Kyle Rittenhouse thing, I didn't find out that one of the dudes pointed a gun at Kyle till this week. Man, just when, now you just told him. Oh, during the trial when the guy testified, I was like, oh shit, I didn't know he had a gun. I knew that. I knew this whole shit was fucked in front of me. I knew he it. definitely should have he he should have got hit with the weapons charge though. And and the and the mom should have got charged with dropping him off. Like the mom, the mom knew what he was going to do. Yeah, like you're a, you're a mom. But he like, knew what like, he was gonna do. He was gonna go stand in front of a business so people didn't destroy it. My That's not illegal. Son, go guard That's nothing. facts. Not That's with not a fire. Illegal. Off. Not doing that, bro. What's legal? If it was your mom or dad's business, would you be happy if strangers were standing in front of it to protect Why it? Why are you having a son But it wasn't, doing it wasn't that? her mom and dad business. It yeah, wasn't his mom and dad business. I'm asking if it was yours. It's Why can't we put ourselves in that person's shoes? Why would you have your son doing that? He's sick. I'm not How is my he son do that, He don't like him. <laughs> no, it, it, like it might be something she too don't like him. He's a no, nerd. It might be no He's for real. It might, you don't like him. Schultz, you playing? It might be nah, something too. She don't like him, bro. She was. Hey, you should take the gun too. You never know. Like, yeah, you take the gun. Yeah, go, she don't yeah, like please, that go, I didn't go, say that this kid is cool. Black lives I didn't say he's likable. I didn't say any of these things, bro. Like, think about all the kids when you were in high school that went to the fucking ROTC program. It wasn't a, the quarterback on the football team. It was some motherfucker that had some problems, bro. He was a dork. Yo, no, seriously, if 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 no, I'm a, right. if, if I'm a parent and my son comes to me and my son's like, hey man, mom, I need you to drop me off in Kenosha. It's a Black Lives Matter rally going. I'm about to take this gun out there and go guard this building. Yeah. Maybe the mom, maybe the mom was like my dad back in the day. Man, let's kill him and get the insurance Dog, money. Like, go ahead. That's go ahead, Kyle. <laughs> Dog, think about it. They've been locked up for a year in quarantine. She tired of this little fucking nerd leaving his <laughs> cum filled yeah. underwear all over the go floor. Shoot like, go, the go, out go. Here. Out the house, yo. Out the house. She probably wanted to go get some meat. Yeah. Hey, Come hey on. man, it might, it might be something to that. It really, really might be something to that. But I tell you what, man, I'm gonna tell y'all this. Y'all better go get y'all a gun. And I'm talking about everybody. I ain't talking about this. I always say that, you know, owning a legal firearm as a black person is a form of self-care. But if you don't own a legal firearm, Schultz, you too. You better legal. go get you a gun. Yes. Because this shit going down out here. I ain't got it. Just, just like Schultz just now said with the Louis Vuitton, they hitting up a bunch of stores. But they also hitting up a lot of people. You at a restaurant with your wristwatch on. That's you right. chain on. Get the fuck out the way. I've seen, Look, I, I've seen, I, I, I don't want that to happen. I don't want that to fucking happen. And I, yeah, I hear it's you. happening. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm saying I don't want that to happen. Me and I don't know. I guess it's happening. Show. I know. It I guess. I guess bro. what I'm trying to say is like, I don't know. I, I guess that you could put a target on public figures back, and I just hope that. Uh, I don't even think it's public figures though. Honestly, These people we talk about who not public got figures. Anybody who got anything more yeah. than what they got, ain't you? Anybody have a lot? You just got to have more than what they got. Man, just be, be honest clear. with people, bro. Like I don't know. I, I feel like on some level, people respect the honesty, man, and the honesty will protect you. And sometimes the honesty is hard to digest. But if you are being honest with people and they know that you're being fucking truthful and honest, in my experience in life, those people get protected, man. Those people, you know, those people are around for a while. And the motherfuckers that lie constantly because they want a little clout or they lie because they're just trying to get some fucking views or some shit like that. Those are the first people to get jacked. And those are Yo, and, Schultz, yeah. what the fuck are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> <laughs> what are like, you Muhammad about? Ali, <laughs> Muhammad Ali could walk in any neighborhood he wants, bro. Like, Muhammad Ali could walk safe and not because he was nice at fighting. You could have shot that dude. But people knew he was honest. He was willing to risk everything. That motherfucker could go any neighborhood he want for his life. It don't matter how how, how tough days, the neighborhood was. We don't care who you are, bro. Get Schultz, out they, the way. Schultz, there was a large portion of people who absolutely positively hated Muhammad Ali. He could Muhammad still walk Ali in their neighborhood? A, Maha, Ma, no, he could walk into his, his neighborhood amongst his people. Nah. But to a, a large swath of America, he was a <laughs> traitor. But they ain't doing he shit. Was a, he was a war ducker. You know what I mean? But they ain't doing like, shit. They didn't do nothing to Ali, but hey, they did something to Martin Luther King Jr. They did something to Malcolm X. 
Yeah. They did something to Fred Hampton. You think that they're as good? You think JFK is a good a, a fighter as Muhammad Ali? Andrew, none of them got none of them got di- none of them died because of hand to hand combat. No, I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm obviously sure everyone would have held their own. <laughs> everyone would have held their own. That's right. Bite them fingernails, motherfucker. <laughs> All right. <You> think it. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this, shit, this shit is no joke out here. I'm just telling everybody, man. Please be safe. Please be safe. I'm telling you, it's it's two way laws for a reason. I I believe in gun reform, and you know you don't want everybody to have a gun because some people are just crazy. Like the guy you're talking about with the car. Well, he's a prime example. If he really was dealing with some issues, he was gonna hurt somebody regardless of what he had. All he needed was the right weapon. This, the car happened to be his weapon in this moment. But man, car please protect a, car yourself. Car is a great sp- weapon, bro. Phenomenal. Yeah, car weapon. take you out. Yeah, yeah. car, car take, take you out. I'm just saying. What I'm talking about more is just like how we react to these things. Like, here's a guy who is sure he's mentally ill, but again, mental illness is not an excuse, right? We know there's a lot of mentally ill motherfuckers. They could still be racist. They could still be hateful, right? Hundred percent. So he did some crazy 100%. shit, but because these fucking Hollywood celebrities can't get no fucking retweets for talking about it, right? They're silent. They're absolutely I think because we don't know the motive yet. All right. I, Did we know the yeah, motive of I, Kyle Rittenhouse? Day one, motherfuckers was talking about that shit. They didn't wait for the facts. They didn't wait for nothing. Day one. Fuck that little yeah. kid. How dare he? Da, 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 da. They didn't even know who he killed. Everybody originally thought he killed black people. That's why this so, shit was a, such a big deal. I didn't even realize that until the trial started. See? Man, Charlotte, you know Charlotte told me. That's what I'm saying. I ain't read that shit. But by the way, I didn't assume. I don't I never I never really had an opinion on the Kyle Rittenhouse thing. Cause when I saw the video, I didn't and that's so crazy. It must have been they must have been dirty and it must have been dark. Bro. Cause I don't remember seeing them. I don't remember when the guy with the skateboard, I don't even remember realizing he was white. But even, but even though you told yeah. me it was not three black people, what I say? I don't care if it wasn't three black people, it's just nigga went out there and killed three people. And was able to go out there and nah, do that nah, shit. Nah, I, nah, if I even it, had a it, gun, it, if I come out the car with a gun, I'm get. I can have all the license in the fucking world to say that I got this gun. People are, they it, gonna shoot the shit it out was, of me. It was self defense. People though. are so stupid, bro. Like some people are like on the right are trying to relate this to the Ahmaud Arbery thing. They're like, well, they were also trying to defend themselves because he was coming at them. Oh, and I'm Lord. like, I'm like, bro, they were following him. You know how you you know how you stop that from happening? You press the brake. Mind your fucking business. Thank you. <laughs> you just and by the way, the guy right now should have minded his fucking business too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you fuck you ain't home. You ain't, you ain't home. got no porn to watch. You seventeen year old. You ain't got no girl that's go running down your fucking drawers, bro. What's up? No. Shows, be honest. No pussy, be bro. honest. Shows, be honest. What? If you heard somebody was. Tearing up the building where your studio at. <laughs> yeah. Are you go- are you going to get a gun and going to stand out there? Are you calling the police? No, I'm calling the police, but we know that the police don't <laughs> don't interfere during the Black Lives Matter marches. We saw that already. They did when the whole fucking precinct got burned down in Minneapolis. You remember that shit? Minneapolis. Oh yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah. Come on, yo. Like, that. why are we acting? Why are we acting like we don't know what was going on? They took That's the whole true, target. I mean, you know how, you shit was on fire. That, 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 Black Lives Matter protest that exactly. was peaceful. Like, that, was, what that, about? That, 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 that definitely was one Yo, incident. I've seen, po- let, let me, I've seen police. I've seen police go crazy at Black Lives Matter. I've seen police actually take their car and bump the crowd. Sure. Like and move. I, I've seen police just kind of watch that shit happen. We all seen both. The point is, I'm not saying that these people that were part of this march and organized this march were even the ones that were doing destruction. Because oftentimes, what it is is people that come from out of state trying to catch a lick and people come from out of uh, different cities trying to like uh, loot and take advantage. It's not the organizers of the march. Those people actually care about fucking justice. That's why they're organizing a march, right? It's not like, hey, let's organize a march and uh, devise some way where we can sneak into the Louis Vuitton store and like and steal some shit. That's not the idea. So it's bad actors, of course, on both parts that are always doing this. I don't want to put it on the march itself or the organizers. I don't think that's fair. But we do know that that's happening. And we can't say police don't intervene in the marches. We've seen, we've literally seen police beating the shit out of protesters. <laughs> like, like literally. Sure, sure. From, from New well, York. Listen, when it, when it, when they didn't it went intervene to, enough uh, for people to not uh, uh, fuck up businesses and, and, and loot. Like, let's, let's just keep it on a buck about this. Like, let's not recreate history. We know what the fuck was going on. Half of Soho was boarded up. Y'all don't remember that? There was fucking boards 100%. on all the, the windows for a reason. Not because of how much the police were protecting the neighborhood. But because the police were basically told, yo, just walk along with it. And if they throw some shit into a window, just kind of let it happen. And it is what it is. 
By the way, that's usually what happens during protests or large gatherings. Don't make it okay. No, it don't make it okay. But it's just like you know they like to put it on like BLM as if BLM was doing that. That's like, unfair. No. I'm saying that's unfair. That's not what BLM wants, and that's not what the good people there that are marching for and, their rights want. That's what these that's bad right. actors are doing to ruin that and tarnish it. It's almost like and what's cra- you you using the struggle for black rights as a smokescreen so you could break into the fucking Louis store. Yeah, and a lot of it is Cointel Pro too. Don't act like Cointel Pro Hell don't exist. Yeah. They actually Hell they have yeah. agitators who go to these protests. Just to cause trouble. Notice I didn't say that they were, I didn't say that they were uh, black people necessarily. Uh, Of course, they're black, they're white, they're, everybody could do it. But the bitch that was walking out the fucking store with the cheesecake, that got nothing to do with, with uh, civil rights. That got nothing to do with equality. Yeah. Listen, I agree. I agree. But the moral of the story is go buy you a motherfucking gun. (laughs) <laughs> you don't got one already. Go buy your guns and, and be careful house. what they tell you to be uh, passionate about. Be careful what they tell you to be angry about because this shit is fake, dude. This shit is all um, fucking fake. I, I, I'm not going to say it's fake. I just want people to always have all the information. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, to be honest, I, you, yeah, because yeah. I mean, I mean, like if they could I, lie about us going to war in Iraq, you don't think that they could lie about <laughs> something happening in the country? Yes. Of course. They never they went to Iraq. All the time. It's what they do. They do it all the time. People we that... never went to Iraq and fought in Iraq? <laughs> yes, we did go to fight in Iraq. But the reason we went there to fight was bullshit. I mean, yo, you got you got people who say 9-11 was fake. Yeah. That's kind of, that's kind of nuts to say. Come you know on, what man. I mean? You know? I don't think you, anybody say, says it was fake. Like, we saw the shit happen. Yeah, but say, yeah, like, it, no, it happened, but I mean, it was... I mean, fake basically, like... An inside job. Some, Inside job, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. I, I don't. Who the fuck knows, bro? Somebody knows, but they're probably dead. Yeah. Well, yeah. The person who knows dead. What's up with that? Yeah, they on Alex Jones' ass, huh? Hell yeah. <laughs> Alex <laughs> Jones. They. It's like everything Alex Jones ever said. He getting sued for at one time now. Yeah, they probably he getting subpoenaed. Yeah. He getting subpoenaed for the insurrection. Yep. <laughs> He lost the Sandy Hook case, owed him a bunch of money. Yep. Like, God damn. I know. We got to get him on the pod before he gets locked up. Man, you don't want to be involved in them lawsuits. You better make you, sure. You, you, could, you could lie about that. What? But like, what, what is insurrection, though? Insurrection is when, like, your you, penis know, goes, you want your penis, penis to get hard. That's what I'm thinking. It goes the other way. It doesn't get but out. It, don't, it goes in. Yeah. It's when yeah, you get yeah, hard, yeah, yeah, but yeah. inside your body. Your penis yeah. goes in reverse. It's called an insurrection. It's wild. Like the body, your, your, your dick is still soft, but the inside flesh of it is hard. It's weird. Yeah. Because I told, I, cause I told people that um, I got a, a circumcise, and I'm like, no, fuck, I probably they gonna try to lock me the fuck up too. The fuck. What? Because <laughs> I ain't never get circumcised lately. I lied about that shit. You haven't got circumcised lately? What you do it every month? You get a little. No, I'm just saying. I got. Cir- I told everybody I got circumcised when I got my when my leg was messed up. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I lied about that shit too. <laughs> All right, let's pay some. I don't jokes. know what's going on. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> the sucks. guy is lying about insurrection, so I said me too. Yeah. <laughs> let's pay some bills. <laughs> I don't right. know. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. What we got? Uh, today's episode is sponsored by Liquid Death. You may receive a call from your teenager's teacher saying they saw your child drinking a tall boy of beer in their virtual Zoom class, but it's not beer. Okay, it's a new mountain spring water brand called Liquid Death. Now, why is it called Liquid Death? Why would something that gives you life like water be called death? Well, because it will brutally murder your thirst. And their infinitely recyclable tall boy cans are helping to bring death to plastic bottles. They also donate 10% of the profits from every can sold to help kill plastic pollution. Plastic isn't actually recyclable anymore. In fact, most plastic you throw in a recycling bin actually just gets sent to a landfill because it's not profitable to recycle. Okay, aluminum is infinitely recyclable and actually profitable for recycling facilities. Naturally, okay, uh, you, all right, now listen, you can get free shipping on all water and merch at liquiddeath.com slash idiots. That's liquiddeath.com slash idiots. Or grab some at Whole Foods and 7-Eleven. I saw you had uh, Michael Irvin drinking one of them tall boy liquid death shows. My, dude, I cannot wait to tell you about Michael Irvin. Greatest wide receiver of all time. He's the man. Bro, Finish this ad and then we're gonna discuss Michael Irvin. There you go, Mike. Let's do let's do Red Panda Stock Club. But uh yes, make sure you get free shipping on all water and merch at liquiddeath.com slash idiots. That's liquiddeath.com slash idiots. Today's show is also brought to you by the Red Panda Stock Club. 
All right. Uh, salute to the Red Panda Stock Club. Are you tired of not knowing what to invest in and want to know exactly what are the safest stocks to invest your money in? Then join the Red Panda Stock Club. You probably know Ian from his coverage in Forbes from USA Today. He's one of the most exciting entrepreneurs of 2021. He was on Rolling Out. Uh, he was on Unfiltered. Um, he was on The Breakfast Club last week. He was on The God's Honest Truth on Comedy Central with my man Kevin Hart. And he records at at WTF Media Studio, okay? Or you probably hear them on Market Mondays every Monday with my guys, Earn Your Leisure, on the Black Effect iHeartRadio Podcast Network. Look, there are a lot of people talking about investing, but none of them have the track record that Ian does. Ian predicted Bitcoin dropping to 28 grand in two months before it happened. Ian predicted Bitcoin recovering in less than 60 days from the low of 28 grand. He called to invest in Moderna at 43 in April of 2020, and it's currently at 408, which is an 820% return. You can get so much stuff from Red Panda Stock Club. You can get the best four stocks to invest in for the long term, the best entries on the planet that will tell you exactly where you should be looking to get in, a year worth of the best companies to invest in, the worst companies to stay away from. Listen, all I can tell you about Red Panda Stock Club, I'm going to say it like this. Ian told me four stocks last week that I should buy. Four. Two of them I already had, but I went and bought some more shares of it. And then I invested in uh, Square and Starbucks. Bought my daughter some Starbucks too and some Square as well. All I'm going to say is out of those four stocks, I'm already six figures <laughs> on, the, on those four stocks. I already got a six-figure return wow. on those four stocks. I was, uh, th yes, I looked Ain't at it. I was like, me. Shit. I was like, damn. <laughs> so if <laughs> you're tired of like that. if you're tired of getting your ass kicked in the market and want to be able to win in the market, join the Red Panda Stock Club and investing will never be easier for you. Go to joinredpanda.com and enter the code idiots to get fifty percent off for the next two weeks. After that, the price will go back up. Um, and results are not guaranteed. Okay, join Red Panda joining redpanda.com is not a registered investment advisor. All investment and financial opinions expressed by Red joinredpanda.com are from the personal research and experience of the owner of the site and are intended as education material. But I can absolutely say I can type yes cuz Ian has made me some money. All right, I can type yes in the comments cuz Ian has made me some money. Now let's get back to the show. Uh church announcements. What we got, Schultz? TheAndrewSchultz.com, the infamous tour. We're coming. Uh, we're off this weekend, but then we're next weekend. We're in Jacksonville, the Jacksonville Theater, Duval. Uh, we're going to be in a Boca as well. And I just added shows uh, in Toronto, man. Maybe some of y'all heard about all that kind of controversy going on over there. Mm -hmm. Quite interesting, but we just added a third show. That one's almost sold out. Obviously, yep. Radio City Music Hall. We added another one of those shows. That's going to be fucking crazy. Uh, Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. So many more shows. Just go to theandrewshows.com. Make sure you check it out. Get those tickets early. I'm telling you, I don't want you to be one of these people who can't get the tickets and then you're upset week of. Go get them early before they're gone. Theandrewshows.com. Coming to your city. More announcements coming soon. Very soon. Okay, that's me. Oh, yeah. Wax, what you got? Yo, uh, go get that Who's Wax up in the local dispensaries over in, um, in L.A., uh, we got a, and my bully and the beast, we got a live show on February 5th. Y'all make sure y'all get y'all tickets, man. We got a Black Friday sale. Um, y'all make sure y'all go ahead and do that. It's going to be fire out there. Sure, we got to have plenty of guests. You know, people fuck with us. So make that happen. And um, In New York. You know, Ian is one of the guys who actually uh, sponsored one of my houses on my paintball field. You know what I'm saying? Ian did it, a uh, loudspeaker did it, man. I got uh, sponsors out there. I'm putting buildings out there. You could be able to wrap your building um, with your logo and stuff on there and have a bunch of eyes be able to see it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, appreciate y'all doing that. So, yeah, that's my announcements. Dope. Um, as always, you know, make sure you tune into the God's Honest Truth every Friday night at 10 p.m. on Comedy Central. We're off this week, back next week with a new episode, but you can stream um, all the episodes on Paramount Plus. Salute to Ian and Kevin Hart for pulling up last week. Um, make sure you go to blackeffect.com. Make sure you check out uh, me and Dolly Bishop on the cover of Black Enterprise magazine, you know, for what, what we're building over at the Black Effect. And, um... Oh, salute to Drew Barrymore, man. You know, I was on Drew Barrymore's show this week. Uh, me and Anita Kopax, you know, the author of Shallow Waters. Shallow Waters is the first, you know, fictional 
uh, book off my imprint, Black Privilege Publishing. And it was fun. It was a great, great thing. So make sure you go out there and get Shallow Waters book uh, by Adita Kopax on Black Privilege uh, Publishing. Go get Tamika Mallory, State of Emergency on Black Privilege Publishing. And I think that's all I got. So let's get let's get back to the show. Now, oh, real quick, you was talking about Ahmaud Arbery Schultz. Yes. And I found something so interesting. I found it so interesting that Travis McMichael was on the stand saying how he had to shoot Ahmaud Arbery, because he felt like Ahmaud Arbery was 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 going to take his gun, and I'm not no therapist, I'm not no psychiatrist, but I know fight or flight, <laughs> right? And I know that fight or flight is a natural reaction to stress or fear. I I don't I can't name too many people who, if they're being chased with a gun, aren't going to run, and if that person gets close enough to them with the gun where they think they're about to get shot. I don't, I can't see why they wouldn't reach for the weapon and try to fight for their life. Uh, Am I missing something here? The Arbery case is so fucking disgusting. It's just so disgusting. That's the one to raise hell for. That exactly. If, like, let's if, make if, this if, the if one. If justice is not served, let's make this the one. These guys are fucking following this kid. And they, who are you? You don't work for the state. You don't. Mm-hmm. You don't own that street. You're not protecting anything. You just saw a black person in your fucking neighborhood, and then you're following him around. Now, I guess they're saying that maybe they saw him go into some fucking uh, house that was being built Ar- or some shit. Ar- 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 already police. been disproven. The, already been disproven. Okay, good. So, was, but no, no, no. I mean, it was because they said he stole something. But they was like everybody went by that house. They said it was a construction site. Yeah, but, so everybody w- went by the construction site to see what was going police, on. Call the police, man. Call the police. Uh, yeah, this is the one to raise fucking hell for. This is and the fact that Travis McMichael said he wasn't a threat. Like the attorney asked him. The attorney was like, "Did he yell at you?" He was like, "No." Did he brandish your weapon? No. So he wasn't a threat. And the guy was like, no, he was just jogging. <laughs> yeah, like, so you what? hunted him down. You hunted him down because <laughs> he's black. You hunted him down, period. Yeah, it, this, is, this is the one. This is the one. And don't get distracted by these other ones that they'll throw out because they'll get more clicks, et cetera. This is clear cut. This is the one you raise oh. hell for. And yeah, this is, this is the one. This is disgusting. Yeah. Fucking. Disgusting. Yeah, absolutely right. And, um. What you? What was you going to talk about? You Michael said you Irvin. Talk about uh, Michael Irvin. The greatest interview the, I've ever done. Michael Irvin. I got to watch it. Was the greatest it ever. It's out right now. It's on Flagrant Two. Is the greatest interview I've ever done. He is one of the most. Remember when I said that Alex Jones was the most charismatic person I've ever met? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Michael Irvin is the most charismatic person I've ever met. <laughs> he is like co- comedian timing, like comedian timing. He has. A wealth of stories that you cannot fucking believe. Stories like he was a rock star, but he was. He's, sure. But he, he was a rock star. Not only was he a rock star, he's also a superstar athlete who won championships. Okay, did everything bigger than anybody else. He banged more girls than a fucking rock star. Won more championships. From college to the pros, he was a Miami Hurricane during the rock star era of the Miami Hurricanes. Oh, he was a Dallas Cowboy, my team in the nineties, bro, bro. bro. The stories the and dude, the way the he tells stories. His father was a pastor. He's got that like religious passion and cadence. It's almost like you're watching Chris Rock talk. Al, the video went again. It's almost like you're watching Chris Rock talk, bro. It, it is just so fucking amazing. And like, he has jokes he put in. We were like, how many girls you think that you had sex with or, so the most in one night or something like that? And he just looks at me, bro. He pauses for a second. He goes, it's CTE. C-T-E. He goes, sometimes <laughs> CTE <laughs> works for you. You know, I mean, <laughs> bro, he was just so good. He, I mean, he yeah, kept telling good. us the truth about some shit. He goes, I'm just bullshitting. But I'm not lying. <laughs> not, Michael, hey, he was Michael so good. A, Michael's always been honest. He did a lot of cocaine. Uh, yeah. Coming up, you know what I mean? One of the greatest wide receivers of all time. If you ask me, I'm going to say he's the greatest, but that's only because I'm biased and I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. I know it's Jerry Rice, but whatever. Charlamagne, you know what I mean? Can I say one thing, dude? He is one yes. of these, and what's so interesting, like, and I'm talking about like a socially savvy person, like, he came in and he was charismatic. He was jovial and he was goofing around, right? And then when he wanted to turn on the intellect, 
when he wants to go from guy who's being just silly and fun and gregarious to like a smart, astute fucking individual, he turned that shit on immediately. And I'm just telling you, and I told this to his face, I was like, you're the guy who was successful at football because that's what you chose. But if you wanted to be a businessman, a politician, a fighter pilot, whatever the fuck you wanted to do, you're just going to be equally as successful at that. He looks right at me. He goes, absolutely. <laughs> I've never been around somebody that I was so sure that he would thrive in whatever situation you put him as Michael Irvin. It was truly unbelievable. Like, you got to have this guy on Breakfast Club, man. You, you got to do it. I love Michael Irvin. You, that's, if I, that's, that's one of them ones that my daddy would love. Dude. Or maybe I've one met of him you, Smith. Maybe one of your one-on-ones. You know what I mean? We're like, you, I don't know, you guys go to... Dude, he's one of 17 kids. He was 15 out of 17. Damn. Bro, I mean, the story from... Dude, he, he was telling this amazing thing about, like, courage. He goes, courage isn't the absence of fear. It's, like, the... Uh, it's, it's acting even though you know you're scared. Even though you know you're scared. Because I asked sure. him, I was like, was there anybody who ever scared you? Like, you seem like a person that doesn't scare easily. And he's like, uh, he goes, he goes, I'll be honest, bro. There was one dude, Spellman. You don't remember Spellman? Uh, Spellman. He ain't no Cowboys he fan. Cowboys. Lying ass motherfucker, <laughs> bro. This guy. Spellman. Yeah. I'm trying to think of Spellman too. What Cowboy Spellman did we have? Six eight bipolar. Six eight bipolar. <laughs> you texting, bro? I'm not gonna be all enthusiastic about this story. I'm you listening. I'm trying to looking at your fucking phone. Are you talking about Alonzo Spellman? There we go. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Anyway, he was like, he was like, that dude was like, that was on. And then I asked him, I was like, but anyway, when you're going, you're doing fucking, you're lining up, or whatever. Like you're going in your. Was you ever scared? He goes. He goes. Yeah, but you got to make sure that there's a fear bigger than the one you're dealing with. That's how you motivate yourself. I go, what you mean? He goes, I'm lining up. They're calling the inside slant. Everybody knows it's going to be inside slant. I'm going over the middle. I'm about to get fucking clipped by that safety or that linebacker, whoever's going to come in. It is what it is. And when I'm on there and I'm lined up and I'm like, fuck, I'm scared. I go, what would scare me even more? Uh, he goes, going back to the ghetto. That would scare the shit out of me. That's Do right. I want to go That's back right. there? 15 out of the 17 kids? Is that what I want to go back to? Is that what I want to live? Is that the life that I'm not be able to provide for my mom? I took a fear that was bigger than the fear I had, and that's the one that motivated me not to be scared. So he's like, fear's a motivator. Those, that was just one bar. The guy had fucking bars. So, so he was scared of Alonzo in practice. He, yeah, yeah, exactly. He was like, "That's that's a dude." Well, Alonzo did play. Uh, he did play for the Bears. I don't know. If, I don't no, know, but he Michael said when he came to the Cowboys, it was like. He was like, nah, that's a motherfucker. It's a problem. That guy right there. Yeah. No, but Alonzo had, um, it's so crazy because I don't know what they would diagnose Alonzo as now, but back then they said he had mental health issues because yeah. he had went on a, a like a like a crazy rampage or something in the early 2000s. Yeah. But now it probably was the effects of CT. Or bipolar, I think that they were saying. Oh, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Anyway, I think you really enjoy it, man. Uh, I, no, I'm going to check it out today. Yeah, he's just such a fascinating, like, engaging character. And and, uh, and he, he said this thing. He's like, I'm 100 percent. Like, whatever I give, I'm going to give 100 percent. Because we were asking him about the White House. And by the White House, I don't mean where the president lives. I mean the house that they bought so they could fuck girls in Dallas. And do cocaine. Yeah. Cocaine. Yeah, well, he had one room for the girls who like cocaine. One room for the girls who like weed. One room for the girls who like liquor. One room for other, like... He had the whole thing broken down into which drug that the girl's <laughs> like. He said one time, oh shit, he said one time, I think it was, he's in a room, he got like over 10 women in the room with him, and Ronnie Lott, he goes, uh, he goes. I think Ronnie Lott brought this other person who he said he wouldn't name his name. I think it was Ronnie Lott. And he comes in the room, and um, Ir Irvin is in there with like double digit women, right? And the guy looks, and he's just fucking shocked. And Irvin's like, at first he goes, fuck, this guy's going to tell him me. And then he looked at the guy and he goes, nah, I'm good. He goes, because he goes, and I go, why do you think you're good? He goes, he didn't even believe what he was seeing. Nobody's going to believe him. <laughs> <laughs> it's the story after story after story of this, bro. Baby, it's unbelievable, man. man. Those were the days. Those were the days when the cocaine was pure. Yep. So you didn't have to worry about none of that fentanyl and shit. You could yeah. snort to your heart's desire. Yeah. You know what I mean? The vagina was pure. Yo. You know what I mean? Yo. Yo. He's such a wild <laughs> could, dude. All, that, all the STDs were curable. Yep. <laughs> yep. 
Damn, those were the days, huh? Yeah, man. He's just a wild boy. He starts the episode talking about sexy guys. Really? <laughs> yeah. I respect him. Yeah, man after my own heart. He went right in, I respect bro. that. He went I respect right that. In. Who was who he talking about? Uh, we were like, who's the sexiest? He goes, he goes, uh, he goes, uh, well, you know, Idris Elba. And that's a sexy man. <laughs> that's a sexy man. You know, oftentimes they say I look like him. So it is what it is. And then I go, uh, I go, what about what about Tom Brady? And he goes, I'll be honest, I judge a man by distance traveled. And I don't know if you've seen his first pick when he came to the NFL, but that man has gone a long way. Like <laughs> what? <laughs> you know his combine pick? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, I gotta go check that. It's two, it's two podcasts I gotta check out this week. I gotta check out. Flagrant two, and I'm um, I'm late on uh, Ghostface on Drink Champs. Ghostface oh, and Ray Oh, that's your guy on Drink Champs. It's my favorite rapper of all time. Yeah. It's just podcast is four hours long. Oh, Man, you know I, <laughs> that's oh. a commitment, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm a finisher. Yeah. I don't like to start nothing and not finish it. <laughs> so if I commit to that four hours, I got to listen to that four hours. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I just got to I got to carve out some time. You know, yeah, maybe an hour a day. I don't know what it is, but I don't know. Uh, what else we got, Taylor? Give us some uh, shit we won't care about next week. Um, did y'all see the Alex and um, Alexander McQueen? That bloody dress was selling for sixty five hundred. No one cares. Alexander McQueen bloody dress. You yeah, see that? it's on the. I sent you the doc. I saw that. I ain't give a fuck. I don't care you? about that this week. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know why shit like that is fa- I don't even know why shit like that is considered fashion, but I don't knock nobody. I just know that you walk down the street and that shit motherfuckers going to be calling the police and asking if you okay. Yeah. Like what's the point? What's the statement of it? Like I, I feel like, like it was just kind r- of um, running out of shit to to put on people. <laughs> clearly. And you know what's so crazy? That's that type of shit you only see in fashion shows. You don't never see that shit in the street. Exactly. Bro. I thought it was an old Halloween costume. It kind of made me feel like it was a little slavery-ish. No way, right? Slavery? Oh, yeah. come on, Taylor. Yeah, no, look how the dress looks. Like, in the old time. Whatever. But why would you? You got to <laughs> It did. That's what, like, um, automatically, that's what I thought. But why would you stab your slave? Especially because it was, well, they you, you raped need, the slaves you need your and everything slave. else. Yeah, but you're not going to stab it and kill they it. Killed you the need slaves it. too. I, I, I need to know why you thought it was slavery. It's like, why the, slavery? Because how the dress looks. Like, take, a, take away the blood, too. Like, it just looks old. Are you saying that's a dress that, that people old. wore in slavery times? Yes. say it look old? Come on, yo. Say like, come on, yo. Did you hear her? Come on, yo. I don't even know how your brain <laughs> It was only that. slaves that got to wear dresses back in the day? <laughs> I'm saying. Sa- uh, white, no, white people didn't wear that. They didn't? What are you it's talking about? Have you, seen, have you ever seen Handmaid's Tale? Taylor? It doesn't look like it. I'm sorry. Uh, anyways. Should I turn this up? This is funny. <laughs> Taylor, have you ever seen Handmaid's Tale? No. That's, uh, that, that's, yes, that's the kind of dresses they wore back then. Um, yeah, but Handmaid's Tale ain't looks, real, gross. dog. Handmaid's Tale, little... that's not based on a true story, homie. <laughs> but it's, ba- it's based off of time. It's based off a of period in time. Nah, it's, in, it's invented. It's not... Yeah, they were treating women like dairy cows back in the day, bro. This is not, oh, I thought, that's I, I, not I, I swear, real. I thought Handmaid's Tale was based off a moment in time. <laughs> yeah. See, this is why... We can't trust nothing no more, dog. Just fucking go on Netflix, watch some shit. Don't watch the news. Everything's fake. That is real. I swear I thought, about? goddamn. Yeah. I swear I thought Handmaid's Tale was based off of. I thought that was a period piece. Bro, if if y- if y'all haven't seen Handmaid's Tale, please, can you look up the Wikipedia of Handmaid's Tale so I can read this shit, please? What is Handmaid's Tale? <laughs> they basically they basically have women that that make the babies. Okay. And that's their job. No, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not fucking crazy. I'm reading it now. It said the book was written in 1985 uh-huh. and there are references to life in the 1970s. But this novel made references to the dystopian future, leading some to estimate that it takes place around the early 2000s. OK, keep going. What's the plot? What do you mean? Like, can you tell us the plot? Yeah, it said, I, I don't know. It says. Uh, this one right here says that the same thing. It was written in 1985, but the references are to early 1970s. Yeah, all the flashbacks describe 1970s era lifestyles. So who the fuck knows? Okay, ready? Here it is. Let me let me read it for you. 
The series uh Oh, no, no, no. Hold, I got it right here. Hold okay. on. This is what we're looking for, baby. This is what we're looking for right here. Yeah, just, what time period? No, listen. What time period does features, The Handmaid's Tale take place hold on, in? Hold on, hold on. The plot listen, no, listen to this. Listen to this. Listen, listen. In the you Hulu really series. Do this, bro. You really No, do listen. Because I want you to listen. Listen. Yeah, yeah. In the Hulu series, Handmaids wear stylized uniforms reminiscent of Puritan colonial garb. Good. So the, let me just read the plot. The plot features a dystopia following a second American Civil War, which never happened, where in a totalitarian society uh, subjects fertile women called handmaids to childbearing slavery. So in other words, if you can have a baby, you become a baby-making slave. Yes, but they were still wearing colonial garb in, that, in Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> They were. I don't care for it's the truth. It's a fact. That's why I thought it was an old movie. It's like that uh M. Night Shellerman movie Shulliman. in the woods or some Shulliman. shit. Whatever the fuck. Shulliman. Whatever the fuck. You remember the movie where they in the woods? Yeah. But they're all living like they're in old times and dressing like they're in old times. Yeah. yeah it was project. Yeah. But but outside oh it's yeah. like <laughs> modern era. <laughs> said, yes, I know what you're talking about. What was that shit called? The Woods? No, it was I called... forgot what that shit was called. I don't know what you're talking about. Fuck, I know the movie you're talking about. And then basically at the end when they just go. Yeah, they escape because the, the woman highway. is blind. Yeah, she's at the highway and shit like that. Oh, yeah. Handmaid's Tale got so many colonies costumes. It's colonial garb. So I don't fucking know. I didn't, I didn't link it back to slavery. Because <laughs> my whole point was mad people dressed like that back then. And did yes, you know what but, it was, too? They had a black model. I don't know. Just, I don't know. I oh feel like they God. was just trying to... I want you to think more of your, think more of your people, Taylor. You're right. See, now You're we right. can't even have representation because you don't think it's old. slavery <laughs> every time. <laughs> we can't, it's like, no, we can't do no right, bro. We can't, there's nothing we can do like, right. They were like... Promoting it for another reason. For whatever. I just don't trust the internet like that. I just feel like they're trying to do a ploy or something. Yeah, yeah. But anyways. I love you, Taylor. What else? Oh, um, I know, I know what something we got to bring up. Remember that? Remember, what? Taylor, I was on your Instagram, man. I saw you You got what? the funniest thing, man. Was this like last week or two weeks ago? <laughs> what happened? Remember Taylor's throwback pick? What's my throwback what pick? What throwback pick? What are you talking about? With Brandy, remember you had oh, that throwback uh, pick? Yes, Brandy. if you want to talk about it. Yo, what, what's up? Why are you shaking your head? Show me, why y'all hating on me? Why y'all hate so much? Hold on, hold on. I'm going to post the other picture if I actually have him actually signed in like him and Brandy. Hold on, this, 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 is, why you're, are this is why you're my favorite. Why are y'all hating? No, this is why you're my favorite. Like, yeah. I can have my oh, favorites. Man. Oh, man. And this is why you're my favorite. <laughs> what? Where is the picture? Where is it at? You took it down already? No, I did not take oh, it down. Oh, my God. It's I think you took it down. Kevin Garnett? Okay, ready? What? When things come full... Here's the... Oh, here we here, go. Here's, here's the casual. 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 What? When things come full circle, uh, yes, she is holding a pic of when I first met her at like three years old when she went to prom with Kobe Bryant. What's wrong with that? Hold on. Who, who, who she brought that pic brought? to the studio? I brought the picture. Oh. What'd you think? But wait, were you Let at... Me tell you, uh, yeah, go, go. Oh. Go, 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 go. I didn't know what she was... I didn't know... I'm, I didn't know what... I saw that, but I didn't know what Taylor was talking about because I didn't see Maybe, her in the picture. Okay. I didn't, okay. I thought T. Diddy was in the picture. <laughs> wait, I just saw a picture of Brandy and Kobe. I didn't know what was going on. Oh, have, are you in that picture? It's on the side. I have another picture of her actually holding me, but I need my mom to send it to me. So you was you took the picture of her and Kobe? No, last, I think my dad took the picture. My sister took the picture. Whoever was in the background, but that's my mom, and I'm a little girl. Well, it did come full circle. Why y'all hating? How do you prove, how, no, how first do you of all, I just want to know girl. why y'all hating. Like, why can I have what, not have no? Right no, 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 no. Why can no, I? I'm not hating. No, 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 because every time I'm asking a question. No, because y'all be thinking like I don't know. I'm people with you. or something like that yeah. when I was younger like it's impossible because now that I work in this field like yeah you knew up, people 
I don't like that. I have no idea why you got. I don't like that. I have no idea why you got so defensive. Why would I make something up like that? I don't need to make shit up. She said she's the baby in the picture. You think you're the only? You think you're the? But why do you think? I'm not saying you lying. But why do you think that I'm lying over there? Why do y'all think I'm lying over that? Taylor. No, for Taylor, real. I'm not why saying do you, you think lying. That I'm just going to randomly lie see. about listen, that. Like, for Taylor, real. Taylor, 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 what? listen to me. I'm not, say- <laughs> I'm not saying you lying, but I can see why people would think you lying. <laughs> why? Okay. But I look like. You oh, seen? Shit. I have another picture of me, Kobe, oh, and, and my brother. Yeah. Like, and it's oh, on my so profile, crazy. too. Y'all could check it out, too. Yeah. Oh, it's a full ass even, picture. Yo, why? Is, but why, why do? Hey. But no, I'm shit. Why do y'all think that I'm randomly gonna lie oh, about that? Yo, like, I got this is random. So why? Why you think you gotta be the one to introduce her to all the famous exactly. people? Like, yo, she knows famous oh. people. Yo, like, <laughs> tell her been known famous people oh, before. Real, I really you. have. So I don't know why it's a big fucking deal. Uh, yeah, it's nothing to her. Brandy, I, I'm, gonna be, I, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest with you. I could care. God bless the dead. I could care less if it was Kobe in that picture or Brandy. Okay. I just think it's hilarious that Taylor's like, "This is me," and we don't even see who the person oh, is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, look, That's what makes it I, 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 I want to get the look. Here's, here's a picture of a time that I was with you, even though there's no proof Shut to show up, that I was with you. But, but let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, though. Something, though. Had Brandy holding up. Brandy's Brandy so confused. Brandy, Brandy, Brandy don't know what the Brandy fuck like, is going on. Right? Brandy, Brandy like, took a picture I'm, of it. Like, she, like, you remember when I said, Jay? Shut up. You Y'all are haters. This is so funny. Y'all are haters. Y'all going to continue to be Like when Wax kidnapped Ed Sheeran and made him promote Wax's CD. <laughs> Wait, what? You know how many people said that shit? <laughs> what? Son, Ed Sheeran shook. He'd be like, I think it's good. I don't know for sure, but I think it's very good. <laughs> Can I go now? Hilarious. Anyways. That's my guy. I know. I'll fuck with That's you. A- I have no reason not to believe Taylor, man. But also, my That's mom funny, told bro. you already, and my grandma told you a couple years ago, too. Yeah. What your mama told me? She shook, yo. I'm not doing this. I'm with not going to do this either. <laughs> hey, your mama I'm, I'm not doing this right now. I'm not going to do this right now. Okay, so come look, on, bro. Can you move on? You got to start know, believing, no, I, bro. Real quick, real quick. I just think it's hilarious because Taylor put everything comes full circle. Yo, it sorry. does come full circle. Like I <laughs> what met her. Came full circle. What came full circle? Full circle Taylor. Taylor. Like when Brandy I got look, when I got when I met her at a young age, and yeah. now where I'm at now, and meeting her again at an older age. That's what I'm saying. Like as it's full circle, like. We met again. <laughs> is that the wrong way to say it? No? I don't know. So if you ain't see a girl, if somebody went to jail yeah, and they get out of jail, you see them again. Son, son. Full circle. Watch it. Watch it. I'm full circle yeah, y'all every week. I, Shows, I'm full that. circle you every time I, I come to the fucking studio. I just gotta say one thing. Yo, the, no? what, why I love you is because I watched you lose confidence in your <laughs> in your defense. No, no, no. But my favorite part was she lost confidence. She's like, in that phone circle? And then one last ditch effort, she just went, she just went, you know, like a circle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Taylor. Oh, Taylor. Taylor. Let me ask you. I want to ask Taylor a question. Know. What? So I Taylor, mean, all I'm the, I'm Taylor, I'm Taylor, I'm Taylor, <laughs> Taylor, <laughs> Taylor, what shake your green? Listen, Taylor. <laughs> right. All the other times you met Brandy, what was that? I never. That's a, that's the second time I met her. That's what I'm saying. So the first time you met her wasn't a full circle moment, bro. No. She didn't even meet her when she was a baby. How no, you meet somebody at a baby? I guess I'm putting it together like how <laughs> we get. Old. She don't remember what? What you remember, remember her as a baby? You said what? Do you, Do you remember, remember her, her as, a baby? as a baby? Did you remember I remember that? meeting her. That yes. night? I remember going there. Yes. How old were you? I told her How I was like three you? something you was years you. old. You were like three? You don't remember stuff like when at I was a young three? age? You I don't just... remember certain things? No. Huh? What year were you born, Taylor? 91. 91. And what year was that prom? So that was 94. Okay, I was four then. See, see, see what year they went to the prom, bro. Yeah, I was young. I never said I was like 15 or nothing like that. That's what I'm trying to say. Do you remember? But why? Just because you don't remember certain shit when you was young doesn't I don't, mean that I don't. I don't remember what happened last week. I promise. I was but in the house for 10 days. I can't remember I'm shit. I'm not you. That's right. I'm sorry. She not you. You're right. You didn't meet no famous people when you were two. I hate y'all. No way. I hate y'all so much. <laughs> yo, you didn't meet no <laughs> famous people when you were so two years old. What year did Kobe and Brandy go to the prom? 
Hey, bro. I think it was 90. Hey, man. It was 98, maybe. <laughs> what, man? It might have been 98. Hey, what? Like 97, some of that. Like, hey. it, it was... Darla, like in the 90s, Wax, y'all didn't meet no famous people while your mom was pregnant with you. I don't know. I Never. Think, okay, Kobe and Brandy went to the prom in 96. Okay, well, you, you so born there? 92. 91. 91. She was five. She so you would still that. be a hell of that five. old. <laughs> you can remember. Yeah, why were you in someone's That's arms? That's a one-year-old. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, okay. You're talking about you yes. being born in 91. I suck at yeah. I was having a date of the prom. The date was May... By the way, the date, the, the prom was in May of 1996. Right. Your birthday is what, Taylor? May what? You should know it, Charlotte. I mean, that's fucked up. It's it's like May 23rd. May 16th. I, May 16th. Yes. Okay. So, I so can you see, were definitely five. I can see sweat on her mom's neck from holding up a grown-ass <laughs> <fucking shit>. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, let's be very clear, though. That, bro. Don't be acting like... He is sweating right now, bro. You, this is that's so funny. That's crazy. Taylor. Now, it would have been full circle I if was, you y'all had... Re if y'all had retook the picture, well, we can't really tell if it's you. Yo, and your mom would have been holding hold somebody on. up. That I did not up. see her having Brandy hold that picture, Have Brandy hold the picture oh, up. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask a question. More of the story is... More of the story is... Is that y'all are haters and y'all don't fucking believe me that it was me. I Taylor, believe that's you, what it sounds like. like. That's what it sounds Taylor's like. Taylor's the most amazing Look. human ever. That's what it sounds like. You gotta, How do Brandy feel about this fucking lie? Taylor's Look the most how confused Brandy is from from looking Philly at your Emma. mom like, why are you holding that grown ass of fucking adult? Y'all are haters. <laughs> why, why you got a whole adult in your arms? That's crazy. <laughs> I always knew it to me. I was like three. Ass. I never looked at the Even Kobe, look at the back and look at Kobe so confused as to why your mom holding you at five <laughs> years old, bro. Look at it. He got, he, hand, he got his hand like this. He's like, what's happening over here? <laughs> I hate y'all. Uh, give us some more ask, Give us some more shit We won't care about Next week Taylor. Um, we don't care about This even next I, week that's I know I'm gonna care About this forever yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good one That's, that's not going to work one. That one up It's good The hate is so real I can't wait to get A shirt made like that Yo T Diddy real shit I think we gotta, you gotta Tell us that you got Your math wrong That wasn't you I did get my math wrong I'm, I suck at math So in my so head you wasn't I'm born thinking, in 91 so you know what it is I never <laughs> What he said Where were you born <laughs> I know where the fuck I was born at what? He's saying okay. you're not born in 91. <laughs> Where was I born? When was I born then? When was she born then, dude? She knows when if, she's born. If the, if the thing was 96, like Charlotte said, in May, May 96. May 25th, 1996 is when Kobe and, it Kobe and Brandy went to the prom. In 91, that means you're a five-year-old kid. That is a baby that's being held. Wait, what? He's trying in to say, in he's trying to say Wait, you what? weren't even there. He's trying to say that's not no, even no, no. you he in the picture. He said in 91, I was five. Why would I be five Shut when up. I was born in 91? No, in yo, 96. Yo, you didn't see your boyfriend, yo? This messed no, up. No, you just said, <laughs> what are you talking about? If you do this to your man, what? this you is messed up. Because I was, I was, I was five really in 91. What are you talking about? No, you about? were five in 96. But he yeah. just said 91. That's he, how I just got confused. Up. He messed up. You didn't see your man. This is messed up. What? You shouldn't do this. Do what? I was, I was real clear. I Wax, said, go clean your dress. Anyway, let's go to another topic. And the, and the prom was 96. None of us think that that was the, the baby is five years old. Yeah, I mean, none of us think that that was the baby is five years old. Because they holding the baby, right? I think there's someone else helping to hold it on, out of the prom. Yeah. First I of think, all, I think it's more of a group effort. It's a group effort. It is three people. <laughs> yeah, it's, Why it's a group like, effort. For real. <laughs> I'm a small person individual anyway, right? Yeah. So why do y'all not think Yo, I was what? small when I was five? Yo, she is Yo, a small bro, person if individual. You, if you bro. open that picture up, please, somebody. Oh, she got a pacifier in her mouth. That's a pacifier <laughs> no, in her mouth, bro. No, stop playing. I'm going home for Look at look, it. Look at look, the baby that's in her mouth, yo. I'm going home for Thanksgiving. I will bring back another fucking picture to Please. help y'all fucking remember and see. All, listen, all we're saying is, listen, all we're saying is we don't believe you, but you need to present more evidence what? to the jury. Yo, you <laughs> have another picture. Of, wait, what do you not believe? That's Me not meeting good Brandy or just not knowing Kobe and everything else? Like, but did you? It. How did you tell Brandy that was you? Because you really can't see that person right there. So were you like, "That's there's me? a signature on the back of the, um, the picture that the I picture. have." Yeah. Whose signature? Whose signature? Yours. My mom, like my mom, writes like dates and everything of that on every fucking photo she has for whatever reason. But um, how does that prove it's you? <sighs> the fact is the matter. <laughs> that the, fact is, is it. the fact is the matter. Yes. I'm gonna say it just okay. like that. The fact is the matter that y'all are haters. And five year old would have pacified. Why are y'all not 
don't want to believe that I met Brandy at a young age. Like, I don't I understand I've seen a pacifier. No, Shilts, you no, see a pacifier no, in the baby Why mouth? do y'all think that I make, like, what other story that I make up about my life that y'all think oh, that Lord. is real? And we don't, we, we, we don't <laughs> have time. We <laughs> have to dedicate a whole face. week worth of podcast. Do you have any younger to that one? <laughs> no, I'm the youngest. What's um? What, give us a give us some. And more, I have a uh, picture with my sister and Brandy. Like, oh why are y'all hating? How we know it's give your sister? We all look <laughs> fucking like y'all. Are pissing me off. You anyway. said that. Well, I'm glad at least she, I'm glad your sister got a picture, yo. Yeah, I have a picture so, too. Somebody should have. Honestly, I have a picture <laughs> so, too. I don't know where it is. Like for real, for real. But my mom has. So you a mean picture. hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. my mom. So time out. No, listen, listen, listen. No, listen, listen, listen. So you actually have a picture of you and Brandy. I don't have it with you, me. Yeah, I just said that no, earlier. Okay, okay, okay. Well, listen. So there is actually a picture of you and Brandy that exists, correct? Yes. So instead of bringing that picture for Brandy to hold up, you bring the me, one though. where you hardly in it. Sir, I don't have it with me. Sir, Nobody can send that picture sir. to you or something. That's wild. It's a little thirsty, Taylor. Why is it? First <laughs> it feel, of all, it feel like you. It feel like you was formulating that caption in your mind for a while. And you had to get it off by hook or by crook. Was she excited happened? when you told her? Yeah. Was she, was she also was, like, oh, she my God. Excited. Like, she was like, oh, my God. Like, she don't. Yo, I'm not. First of all, you. why am I even explaining stuff that y'all still don't fucking believe? So let's. can we go to another topic? Did she, did she say she remember you? I've been trying to go to the next topic to for 15 topic? minutes. You kept asking me fucking questions. So anyway. No, we let's go to the next topic. <laughs> yo, um, yeah. Here's some shit. Here's some shit I think that we should talk about. What do you guys, we want to do more topical stuff or you want to talk about LeBron James? Uh, you want to talk about LeBron? I mean, if you Matter guys fact, want to. Let's pay this bill and come back and talk about LeBron James. All right, Ben. Let's, let's, let's pay this bill. Let's talk about Mint Mobile, okay? After years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by big wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when I first heard that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month, I thought, what's the catch? But after speaking with them and using their service, it all made sense, all right? There isn't one Mint Mobile secret sauce is that they're the first company to sell wireless service online only. By cutting out retail stores, there's no crazy overhead costs that get passed down to you in the form of Mint mystery fees. Instead, Mint just passes on sweet savings direct to you. For people looking for extra savings, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month. All plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. And if you're not 100% satisfied, Mint Mobile has you covered with their seven-day money-back guarantee. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month to Get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free. Go to mintmobile.com slash idiots. That's mintmobile.com slash idiots. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash idiots. Let's get back to the show. Let's talk LeBron James. What's up with LeBron James? What happened? Um, they said LeBron, it was LeBron's fault. LeBron threw a little uh, punch and it split open a guy's head. Isaiah, I saw that. And... Uh, yeah, he. I don't know. I think LeBron meant to hit him. I don't know if he meant to hit him in the face, but he definitely meant to 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 do yeah, that. He meant to tell him to get off him. Get off yeah. him, young man. Uh, yeah. yeah. What's the con- what, what, what's the conversation though? What is the? Oh, what I, are think, people I think debating LeBron about didn't this? want that smoke. I'll tell you that much. LeBron was fine being protected by that dude. Those dudes. <laughs> why would you want that smoke yeah, when you? Why would you, why would you want that, that smoke when you a billion dollar enterprise? Oh yeah, I don't fight people that. poorer than me. Also, <laughs> Al, I got no video. <laughs> You're a billion dollar enterprise. And you know you was wrong. Like, immediately after he did it, he was like, oh, shit, my bad. Yeah. yeah. To, I, I do think he meant for him to get off him and give him a little, sure. a little welcome yeah. to the NBA, yeah. you, you know? But, but I don't think he meant to bust him open yeah. like that. I mean, if there's he, no blood, this isn't a conversation. But because there's blood, it's like, oh, I got to do something now. This man made me bleed in front of all these people watching. Or the blood in the reaction. The reaction from yeah, but- From Isaiah Stewart. Oh, no, yeah, I'm saying I, I'm talking about like, Isaiah. I'm sorry. If there's no blood, Isaiah Stewart doesn't have to do anything. He could just be like, yo, what the fuck were you doing? They could jaw at each other. LeBron gets a tech or gets kicked out the game for doing it, and then it's over. But then they, when he saw that blood leaking down his face, if you don't do something when someone made your face bleed, like, you look kind of pussy, bro. It felt to me like Isaiah was triggered by something else. Ooh. And I, like, you know, I, like, like, I'm not no psychiatrist or therapist, like I always say, but I just feel like if you're going to react, if you reacted like that, it's something else that happened to him that triggered him in that way that maybe brought him back to that moment. I don't know. Cause I was like, 
I, you know, I didn't see I didn't see any reason for him to go yeah, that we crazy. We all played basketball before in the hood. We all got fouled, super fouled. Yeah, even yeah. with the blood, LeBron was like, "Yo, my bad, my bad." Now, unless something was said that we don't know about all in right. between all of that, Do you think that I don't mm-hmm. see the reason for him to act like that. I actually don't even people that act like that. I'm like, man, please let him go because mm-hmm. I want to see what he can do now. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> if you mm-hmm. if you acting like that, I want you to get to who you're trying to get to yeah. to see what you can or do. Get to the right person. They're gonna show you something. Because he got, he was he was in Bron's face for a second. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. But maybe so but to your point, trying to hold you back. Yeah. But to your point, maybe until he saw the blood, he didn't react like that. He but. didn't know if it was real, real. Yeah. He you probably like a shark, man. You taste seven, blood, probably? man. You do start reacting a certain way once you start tasting blood. Do you think that maybe it was something from like? I don't know, in his younger years in life and it had just kind of come full circle in this moment. That's what I think. It was, it, it was it, for whatever reason, that moment triggered him and reminded him of something <laughs> he's never been through. Uh, or he's been through before. Something. Because yeah. he went crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like, he lost it. Yeah. He was like, happy. lost it, lost it. Like, Ron Artest didn't act like that when Ben Wallace shoved him. Yeah, yeah he probably ain't had no pacifiers when he was a baby. Yeah, it could be. Ron Art- <laughs> what? It could, it could be. Yeah. <laughs> Could be a lack of what pacifiers. Do you think it is? That, that is a good point. <laughs> it could be. It could be. That's definitely maybe, going on there. Maybe, maybe when he was five, yeah. you know, he met LeBron and, you know, somebody was holding him up in a picture, but it was just like the back of his head. And he keeps telling people, you know, that's me in this picture. And nobody, and nobody it. believes it. And nobody yeah, believes yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. Maybe, so LeBron, maybe he felt like maybe he felt like LeBron hitting him. Was LeBron's way of saying stop showing people that stupid ass picture? Well, maybe he said that. Maybe LeBron <laughs> yeah, said yeah. that on on the on the free throw line. He was yeah. like, "Yo, cut that shit out. That wasn't it. you, bro. Like, <sighs> we don't know each other. That wasn't you. Yeah, that wasn't you. Stop saying you yeah, met me when I was five years old. Not supposed to have no pacifier. <laughs> word, up, word, up, word up. I can see that. I can see that. Team are you on? I can see I'm that. on your team. <laughs> I'm on. T- I'm on Taylor's team, bro. That's all I'm trying to say. I think Taylor knows. Brandy. I think she knows a lot of famous I never people. Said I know her. I think I've met her before. I think you know one twelve. I think you know 112. I think you, you know think a lot. Of, I just think you know a lot of famous people outside of Charlemagne the God and the Breakfast Club. I think you know most famous people from back in the day. Joe Bro, Taylor been out here. Drew Taylor Hill. Taylor been out I here. I don't popping, like, bro. like this tease thing because I'm being so for real <laughs> Taylor about been my out life. Not, I don't like about I'm not my life. teasing, bro. I think you know these people. Alanis Morissette. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. Yo, by the way, <laughs> Taylor, it's no need to stop now. Any, no pi- stop any what? old picture. Listen, any old picture with celebrities where there's a little black baby that you can hardly that's see. You. Ooh, that's you. It can be you. All right, bet. Because guess what? <laughs> yeah. They also think that I'm please, the... Please, so y'all since put If we're going to go on this train, then... Um, <laughs> if y'all think I'm you lying about everything... <laughs> this shit killed If y'all think I'm lying about <laughs> <laughs> everything... Isn't that a people song? also <laughs> think that I'm the little girl off of a Bernie Mac show. So yeah, I'm her too. Ooh. Who thinks that? I get mad people that say that to me. Him down. Man, who, who are these two people on social media that got you thinking <laughs> it's not two you people. the little girl off Bernie Mac? I've never heard that in my life. I've never heard that either. Just because they're not saying it to you, you doesn't mean they're not saying it to me. Oh, you got a lot of DMs what? on that? Yes. Why are y'all just hate randomly. so much? I don't hate. Show's good five. Show's good five for my real quick. I do not like this. Show's good five, please. Y'all like make so it just seem like I can't know or whatever. It's weird. It's weird. It's just because weird. people say you're the little girl off Bernie Mac show, you know you're not the little girl off Bernie Mac show. I know I'm not, but I'm saying since everyone thinks I'm fucking lying about something, yeah. then that, I'll give you something to lie about. The fuck? I have no idea what you're talking about. Shultz, can you show Shultz five of those right now? Okay, well, it's a lot of DMs already. I gotta go look. I don't save them. <laughs> Where y'all did I save the deal? <laughs> I'm just saying, like y'all make it seem like what is so funny? What is so funny that I just said? Yo, I love you, Taylor. I just want to see Taylor in one. You, Taylor. Listen, listen. I, don't, I, I just want to see us hate. That's all. I don't know why they hate. I don't know. They hate us because they hate us. You know what I mean? I will pay top dollar. That's real. I will pay top dollar to see Taylor in a a deposition. (laughs) (laughs) I would pay not for no. I don't want no serious crime, but just something like a fender bender. What? I would love Why? to see Taylor in a deposition, yo. Why? I'm going to suck his dick. Man, suck, 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 suck my dick. I'm going to say suck my dick. 
Taylor, Taylor be like, I didn't hit his car. Why would I hit his car? Uh, Just because I was in the car driving the car when it hit doesn't mean I hit his that's, car. That's not what I <laughs> Nobody else drive cars? Nobody, nobody else drive cars around here? Yeah. You don't drive a car? You don't have a car? Yeah. I hate y'all. <laughs> I hate y'all so much. Let's do some Asking Idiots, man. <laughs> yeah, let's get it. Okay. What on. we got for Asking Idiots? For Twitter, I'll just say. Um, this is from Twitter. For the holidays, they want to know, uh, what is your favorite holiday food? And this is by Robin Loves Love. Do y'all celebrate Thanksgiving like the traditional way? Do y'all yeah. switch it up? Well, what do you mean what do you by mean the, mean traditional the traditional way? way? Like, like, I'm talking about when it comes like the food and everything. Because I personally don't think we should be celebrating it. Why? Because it's about fucking them taking over the Indians. Oh, it was about celebrating the dinner that we had together. And then y'all, and then what happens next? Well, sometimes bad things happen after. <laughs> Yo, that shit is, you know what that looked like on some motion? Not to make shit dark. Um, What happened with the Charles, Charleston shooting? He prayed with them and then he gonna... Shoot them mm. afterwards. That's fucked up. So you really got to stop repeating stuff you see on social media as your own thoughts. What do you mean? You have to stop doing. That. I never. Wait. What do you mean? I never saw. I never saw that, that on social media. That that, like why 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 is Thanksgiving like the Charleston shooting? I'm Break it down. Saying, for me. You didn't hear what I mind just you, said. Mind you, I'm for, mind you, I'm born in Charleston, South Carolina. You know, I'm so not I'm, saying that it's exactly like I'm saying how they had dinner with them and then what happened afterwards. And they killed. The they didn't Indian. have dinner in the Charleston shooting. I'm not. I understand what. Why <laughs> you getting frustrated? I understand what. You, I understand what you know trying to say. You know what I'm saying. Analysis? I understand what you're trying to say, but I don't think it's the same. I think that like you can celebrate a moment, and just because something happens after that moment doesn't take away from all the good things that happened before. You know I'm not I mean? with it. I'm not with Thanksgiving at all. I so I'm just trying. I, I'm just really trying to figure out what's the correlation between Thanksgiving I'm just, and the Charleston shooting. All massacres are not created birthday with your with your spot with your husband, even though you guys are divorced. Yeah. Well, you're that? celebrating something you guys did together. You made that that's kid. Not as, that's not the same. That as, should happen afterwards. Like what? What? what we Y'all got divorced. Yeah, but that doesn't mean it could have been a bad divorce. It could have been a healthy divorce. Like. We, we don't if it was a bad divorce, could you still celebrate your kid's birthday? I will hope so. Okay, that's my point. We could still celebrate the good things that happen. How are you relating it to that? Because I'm just saying that's something. I mean, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't even know what the good thing was on Thanksgiving. I mean, Thanksgiving was a genocide. No, that wasn't. Thanksgiving was the dinner. The pilgrims yeah, and the Native ended, Americans. It, it ended in genocide. Say what? Not that it night. Ended in genocide. Not that night. They had good food. Everybody went to sleep. Everybody was happy. L later, there was genocide. I don't know the timeline. Yeah, me neither. But I just know something but bad happened. I know. Yeah. I know a lot of indigenous people uh, exactly. say Thanksgiving is was a bloody day. Exactly. And in, in historic in history, what you mean exactly? <laughs> I'm saying it was a bad. I don't think we should celebrate. That's all I'm saying. Why not? Why can't we celebrate? I, first of all, no offense, I'm yeah. talking, nothing like this, but like, I don't really don't think we should celebrate any American like black people should celebrate any American holidays like that. Are you trying out for something, yo? <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> it feel like amateur night. All right, yo, hold what on. do you mean? I'm, I'm over here like, hold on, hold on. Why are you saying that? That's it like a good that? idea. I think you should go to work on Christmas then. Why would I do that? Go to work. If you don't want the day off, don't celebrate no, it with the day I'm off. No, I'm talking about the... I'm enjoy saying, no, no, enjoy no, no, no. working. No, I'm saying... And, and, that, and, and, when and, I say and, traditional Taylor, you do, ways, you, I'm you tell saying... You, Taylor, you do know Juneteenth is a national holiday now, right? Yeah, no, I'm glad. I'm happy for that. So that's an American holiday. So we shouldn't celebrate that. We can celebrate that. What about Valentine's Day? That's an American holiday. Cut it out. What about Christmas? This Cut is, it out. Can I get on Christmas? So I was telling my dad about Christmas it isn't an American because holiday. Christmas but. is like commercial holiday, and I feel like it should be time spent with your family, though. Like, don't get me wrong, but the whole gift thing and everything else, like how they make it, I don't think it should be like that. What about what about July Fourth, Independence Day? I'm over huh? that too. 
Okay, but then you got to work those days. You got to go to work. You got to. I always yeah, no am working cookouts. anyway, so it doesn't fucking no matter. Cookouts. I promise you, I'm working yeah. on Thanksgiving, hey, and I promise you, I'm working on no, Christmas. But, so it doesn't matter. But Taylor, I'm I'm not opposed to how you feel, but the change got to start with you. So that means you should start no Thanksgiving tomorrow. Don't go nowhere to eat. Nothing. On Christmas, no, no but, gifts. But that's why I said traditional July, no way, cookout. though. You're, you're missing what I'm saying, though. Like, as in, what are you saying? I think that how they should be spent with your family and friends. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying of overall, like, I want my mom to switch up at least, like, the food or something on Thanksgiving. I don't think we should make it traditional to make it, like, with, from, like, I guess from history. I want us to switch it up. They make it our, like... Hold on, time out, time out. So, you, hold on. You think that they were eating turkeys at the first Thanksgiving? I think they I'm have saying of what they have Thanksgiving as now, like, let's switch it up. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Switch it up to what? Like, have a seafood. Like, have a seafood Thanksgiving. And everything. Like, I'm just saying, have a seafood Thanksgiving. Like, I don't need to eat turkey on Thanksgiving. Like, I'm just saying the traditional ways of... Yeah, you could do that. There's no rules. Nobody's going to arrest you if you have seafood on Thanksgiving. I just want to change my definition. Or, I want my family to change definition. You're in America. You're free think. to do whatever you want. You could have whatever meals you want to do, and that's just what it is. I know, but my mom is very traditional. That's what I'm saying. Well, maybe oh, she yeah, but I don't think the food, I really don't think the food has anything to do with what you're talking about, Taylor. What you're talking about is the fact uh, Thanksgiving is linked to the genocide between the pilgrims and the Native Americans. And, yeah, and you don't I'm think we should be both, celebrating though. a day of genocide yeah. or something that eventually led I, to a day of genocide a generation later. Yeah, and that's but that's why I also, I guess I shouldn't be switching them in that way, but like we should switch it up. If we are going to, have Thanksgiving, let's switch it up in a way where it, it's not related to the history of it. Mm. That's all. Mm. So that means we got to know exactly what they had to eat. You're not, uh, you're pissing me off. Can I, can I, ask I don't think they had no mac and cheese back can then, bro. I, I don't care what y'all They ain't had this potato salad. They ain't had no dressing, bro. They ain't had that. They might have had some yams, but not the candy joints. Taylor's right. like, Thanksgiving was like the Charleston shooting. Like, huh? No, that's not what I said. You're a hater. I'm just saying. Like, that's exactly what you no, said, Taylor. I was saying. Black like, people I'm, went, put, went Taylor, no, Taylor, no, Taylor, no, we have to, no, 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 real quick, real I'm quick. Just, we, Taylor, do you know the definition of genocide? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Be honest. It is the deliberate killing of a large number of people from a particular nation or ethnic group with the aim of destroying that nation or group. Maybe, I don't know. I don't I wouldn't call the Charleston shooting a genocide. Would you Schultz? No, that's not Would a you genocide. Think it was racist what he did? Yes, it was okay. racist. It was, he admitted it was racist. Okay. But I'm just saying, okay, well, not based off, I'm just saying of literally him praying with them, right? And then them saying that they had a peaceful dinner at Thanksgiving, right? But then afterwards, what happened? Like, bad stuff happened afterwards. He went back and killed the people in Charleston. I think what Dylan Roof did was an act of domestic terrorism. You know what I'm saying? And he, and he, he did it because he, he, he wanted to ignite a race war. He said that. Mm. He said, I committed this shooting because I wanted to ignite a race war. The pilgrims were just, that was just straight colonization. They weren't trying to ignite no race war. They were just trying to wipe the Indians out so they could take over mm. the land. As far as, but as, far yeah, okay. as I'm, I Okay, I'm not saying the same. Y'all not getting what I'm saying. Why don't we do some like, asking idiots? I'm just idiots. saying like this is an event that happened. I, I think get we're out asking one. Let's ask Chris. I want to ask Chris. Chris, is Chris there? What do you think, Chris? Do you think there's some, is there a correlation Yo, between it, the Charleston shooting I'm and like Thanksgiving? Story. Well, I mean, I think the most important thing to talk about is Thanksgiving never happened. I mean, it's essentially a, it's a myth. I, I might be slightly off, but I believe it was created during the Civil War to help try to bridge unity in the country. But there's no historical evidence that, uh, you know, Indians sat down with the pilgrims and taught them how to do this need. I think over time, yeah, they probably showed them how to cultivate corn and uh, squash and the other native things. But there was no dinner. I mean, it's a creation. It's propaganda. Oh, so. So it's, you're kind of arguing about something that didn't even... But see, I didn't happen. know that, though. I'm just putting the two as in, like, something So hypothetically, if it did versus... happen, Chris, would you, would you correlate I it? Think hypo I think hypothetically, I see what Taylor's saying. You're breaking up, Chris. You're breaking up. Yeah. It's Hello? probably good. Yeah, God is like enough already. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's go to some asking idiots, <laughs> yeah. please. Yeah. Y'all didn't even answer the question. Um, what was the question? It was, 
What do y'all think is what's your favorite holiday food? But never mind. Um, thought, how did we get there from that question? Because <laughs> I made a comment first, but anyway, uh, uh, thought, yeah, I don't know. Go on, Taylor. Go. You want to read it? I'll do it. Okay. Okay. This is from uh, <laughs> this is from Thoughts Spending Pod. Um, oh man! What is ninety six minus ninety one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to be honest with you, 96, I'm going to say probably like, I'm going to say at least two. I'll say four, four and three quarters. You think four and three quarters? Taylor. Four and three quarters. No, nah, I think Taylor, like two, come bro. on, Taylor. <laughs> okay, four and a half. 96 minus 91? I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I made that Taylor walk out. Yo, Taylor walked out. That's not cool. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. <laughs> Why Taylor walking out, Taylor? We just want to be down. Yo, I'm not, I'm, I'm just looking at Taylor's questions. Is she screenshotting? Um, okay, I got one more. What do you think? This is from uh, JL2487. What do you think uh, of Marvel's Phase 4 so far? That's our last um, one. Um, love the TV shows. Movies are very iffy. The Eternals. Love the TV shows. What do you think about the Eternals? Haven't I haven't seen the Eternals? I just watched Shang Chi this weekend. Okay. Um, I enjoyed Shang Chi. It was cool, but it's just I don't know. I felt disconnected to it for some reason. I don't know why. And 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 and, and everybody, people like to say, oh, it's because you know we're not familiar with the character of Shang Chi. It's like yo, that's how Marvel has made its bones so far. Marvel made its bones by taking these characters that weren't necessarily huge in the comics. And making them big in the MCU because they didn't have, you know, the rights to a lot of the, the, right. the A-list guys. So, Shang-Chi was cool, but I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, it's, maybe it's the experience, too. Maybe it's something about going to the movie theater. You know what I mean? When I'm watching things at home, maybe I don't appreciate them that much. I saw Black Widow at home. I'm like, okay, it was cool. Mm. I saw Shang-Chi at home. I'm like, okay, it was cool. TV shows have been amazing. Mm. Every Disney Plus TV show from What If to Loki to WandaVision to Captain America Winter Soldier have been fantastic. Is there... Movies? A, eh. Do you think it might have something to do with the fact that, like, the TV shows, for the most part, were either based in characters that we knew from when we were a kid or have appeared in many movies so they're already established, while the Eternals... Is mostly newer characters that the average casual is not uh, aware of or a big fan of. Um, maybe, but hey, Ant Man was great. I knew Ant Man growing hey, up, man. but I didn't love Ant Man. Now nah, you're right about that, Ant Man. You know what I'm saying? That's also Judd though. Judd don't miss. Or Judd Rudd, is a beast. Rudd, Rudd, Paul Rudd, Rudd, Paul Rudd. Rudd don't miss. I loved, I loved Ant Man. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> same thing with Thor. I was familiar with Thor from the comics, but I didn't. I wasn't a huge Thor fan, but you. Love Thor now because of the movie. Yeah. So I don't know. It's just I like the TV shows better. Um, I think Spider Man is definitely gonna change that though. Yeah. Spider Man Far From Home is definitely gonna bust ass. That shit looks incredible. But that's Spider Man, right? Like that's, that's an established property that we know about. Um, here's a yeah. I don't yeah. know. Okay, here's my I don't know. here's my last ask, an idiot. Um, what did you guys think about the social media reaction to Kevin Durant's? Ankles. Hilarious. Classic Twitter. Classic. That's when Twitter was fun. Yeah. That's when social media was fun. And when everything wasn't being taken too serious, when everything wasn't, you know, performative, it was just this guy's ashy get him. <laughs> <laughs> like, like just uh, this simple yeah. comedy. Yeah, Sometimes you just cool. want simple comedy. You know I like what I mean? High school. I enjoyed every That's one it. Of them. That's yes. it. That's it. That's it. That's it. The funniest one I saw was somebody said KD stands for kind of dirty. <laughs> 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 and they and they were showing like his hair and the meat. This shit is just funny. And I loved how I love Kevin's clap back when Kevin was like, "Yo, y'all about to make me pull the y'all broke mother y'all broke card on." <laughs> you know I got more money, y'all motherfuckers. Right. Get the fuck up. Kevin was like, "Y'all, yeah. I, I liked it. I enjoyed it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That is that's classic social media. Yeah, it's like it was the perfect thing because you're allowed to make fun of it." It's something that can be controlled and go away. It's not like you're making fun of like a birth defect. You literally just put lotion on and you're good. So the stakes yeah. weren't too high. The jokes were there. You can't get canceled really for anything you're saying. So you could just feel free to shoot. Yeah, it was almost yeah. like the perfect storm 
of what made Twitter amazing back in the day. Yes. Yeah. Yes. When nobody took anything too serious, we all knew it was jokes. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> and no, for real, I remember when Twitter got serious, man. Salute to my man, J.R. Smith. I'm glad J.R. Smith is like, you know, doing his thing. He's at North Carolina a t playing golf, getting his degree. But I remember letting a fire joke fly. Because J.R. Smith posted about how, you know, he, he, he just got some truck fit. <laughs> and so I retweeted him and said, well, what did you do to get it? <laughs> yeah, because yeah. yeah, that Wayne, because what was the Wayne line? Because Wayne had that line. Yeah. That, was just a, that was just a joke that we all used to throw around. Yeah. Somebody said they had some truck fit. Well, what did you do to get it? Because of Lil Wayne. I thought he would take the joke serious. He's like, nah, motherfucker, stick to being the funny guy on the radio, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and it's like, shit. So it was just like it came to a point where people just, they forgot it was all jokes, man. Yeah. Salute to J.R. Smith, though, man. I, I, I really respect what he's doing. I don't think people are, are talking about what he's doing enough, man. You know what yeah. I mean? The fact that he's had a prosperous NBA career, got Bunny, decided to go back to school to better himself. He's on the golf team. Like, you know. Boosie about to do the same thing, right? I don't know about that. You know, I can only speak for what Jr. is actually doing. Actually doing. But I, but, he going. but I respect it because everybody gave Jr. Smith hell and act like he was, you know, just some thugged out dude who was drinking Hennessy before games, whatever, whatever. And he's like, nah, motherfucker, don't put me in no box. Watch me switch this. Watch me change this narrative on y'all. I love that. Jr. has always been a really awesome player to watch. Even back in Colorado, man. Remember? Oh, my God. He used to jump out the fucking out gym. The gym. Oh. Yeah. He's just one of those guys I always rooted for. Same. Salute to J.R. Smith. All right, I think we did it, guys. We did you know, it. Um, as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right, too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Thank you.